All right. Welcome. Saturday afternoon. We got some hoops. Brian Fulford, Keith Hadley here. Keith Hadley of the uh, Things Up podcast. FQ Fam U is where you can find them also on Twitter. Keith, how you doing this afternoon, my man? I'm good, man. Excited for some Fam U basketball. Hopefully we get a little something, something, you know, we're celebrating for. Yeah, give, give something, give the people something to feel good about. That's that's what we need. That's what we need. Rattlers, feel we need to feel good about some things amen to that <laughs> we need a distraction until a distraction until tuesday at one o'clock right? right 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 the distraction distraction committee is is on uh is on holiday break might even be observing some founders weekend founders day weekend things so you know who knows it is founders day for us for your favorite uh member of delta sigma theta it is. Congratulations or happy Founders Day to the uh, ladies of Delta Sigma Theta. Uh, I met a few of my uh, future wives from the uh, Beta Alpha Delta Sigma Theta sorority. Unfortunately, they didn't they didn't see me as their future husband. But, you know, I, I saw my future wives out there, Keith. Uh, they were out there. I just didn't just wasn't able to corral them, I guess, you know. I, look, I, I can't even make that claim. out there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, exactly. So you, you, you made the call on the right day, like, hey, let's do a live. Like, oh, this is a great day to stay out of trouble. Exactly. <laughs> like we said, I met my future wife at FAMU. You know, unfortunately, she didn't she didn't see her future husband in me. So there it is. So that's how it rolls sometime. Uh all right. So those of you who are joining us, hello. Uh, whether you're watching us on Facebook, uh, you're watching us maybe on Twitter. Uh, or over on the at ONG or over at FQ uh, FAMU. Um, I know you got Twitch there. You doing some twitching too, Keith? I got it on Twitch too, man. You know, we try to you know try to reach where the young folks at, man. You know, we try to stay up to date with the kids. There you go. There you go. I got to figure that whole Twitch thing out. You know, got to maybe have to create an account over there. See what it's like over there in in the in the twitch I have, to, I have to make sure i don't show my age and say switch you know i'm over on switch <laughs> you know old folks be messing up messing up ish um all right so we got uh so what we're gonna try to do today is we're gonna try to you know try to follow along here with some audio some live stat action obviously the live stat board is not up yet um try to see what kind of live audio we can also work in um you know, I've I've already reached out to uh, to uh, Olivia, Liv and Tilla. Um, so you know, try to reach out to uh, to Liv and try to get her commentary. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna open up in a new tab. Let me see if the game is streaming yet. I don't think it is. Not yet, but Liv does great work for those who aren't following her, especially uh, highlighting HBCU basketball, especially the ladies basketball. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see what we can glean there. So I've got, I see the stream is up. Still trying to see if the uh, live stats are working yet. Um, Not yet. Don't see it on the Rattlers. Uh, It's also on the Rattlers Plus app. So, you know, definitely encourage as many of our people as possible to support that. They're trying to do some things with that so that they can uh, build up. build up our coffers. I mean, <laughs> they use the ads to try to make some money. So we're going to try to. Yeah. Most, uh, most def. I mean, you, you definitely want to try to support. Uh, so that's Rattlers plus or go to famuathletics.com and then take a look at Rattlers plus six, six ninety nine for the day. You know, that's not a bad deal, Keith. You know, when we, when we, mm-hmm. when we talk about, you know, the economies of, of, of sports these days, you know, six ninety nine and, you know, all that, all those proceeds go back to FAMU Athletics. So, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see, we'll see what that, okay. looks like they're just about to tip off. Uh, let me see if I can get the live audio here working. That's going to be my next challenge. <laughs> uh, try to figure out how to incorporate all these wonderful, wonderful things here. Um, so this game, we're gonna see. Uh, 
how do you feel about Southern so far this year, though? Like, you know, they, I mean, compare it all. Um, you know, I, I've come to this belief that there are, let me see, one, two, three, four, your top four teams, uh, Southern is one of them. You know, I, I think between Bethune, Jackson State, UAPB, you know, Southern sits right there with them. Um, trying to see. I'm not hearing any audio yet, although. It's, it's not just you. The uh, I, I got the app running and in the background on the phone here, and it uh, it ain't doing much either. So it's just uh, right. we're still figuring it out. <laughs> still figuring it out, yeah. Yeah. Um, Exactly. Uh, Got to give a shout out to quick people. Bull already jumping in. We appreciate you, Bull, coming in. Um, Hopefully you didn't hear my headphones, right, Brian? I, well, I heard a little buzz, but it, it's all good. J.D. Floyd says uh, shout out to Keith. Good to see you, J.D. What's up, man? Look, Jason is a great event promoter in the city. So you hadn't okay. gone to you probably gone to some of his parties and hadn't even known it. Okay. Now, is that back when I used to go to parties, or are you talking about recently? <laughs> recently and uh, before and currently. So, probably right around when you stopped going to parties. Oh, the game is showing live. We've got a free throw shot that just went in. Yeah. So. yeah. You know, I wonder. Let's see. And Obviously, Mary305, good to see you. Kylan, exactly. 699. That's it. Bag it. That's, a, that's the perfect way I love to – to, to to break those kind of things down that it's it's worth a bag of chips a soda a honey bun you know that that's how expensive things are these days but anyway <laughs> now we don't have this uh point showing yet but we do oh she's she shooting for three. Ooh, she airballed it uh <laughs> i kind of i like our size this year like i will say looking at our team this year compared to last year we do look better all right that's one of the things so last year we just we lack the talent. We lack the depth. But, you know, I think, you know, Coach Pillow's my girl. But, you know, same point. You know, it's just you need, a little, need a little bit of work. Oh, you mean from last year? Yeah, from last year. Compared to this year, we're, we're a different team. I, I think, um, you know, we, we're, we're, we're hard on A.D. Sykes about this football hire. But I think with the basketball hire, she did well, uh, you know. And we're still critical of the hire at the time because – a lot of the stuff that we saw with the football hire transpired in the same way with the basketball hire, but she did she did well so far. Yeah, already seeing Southern in their half court set there. Um, and the bad part is, like I said, without having the benefit of knowing who's on the floor without live stats working, um, you know, I'm about to lob a text off to my guy here in a second. What's going on with the live stats? <laughs> you know? <laughs> You know, You're not the only one. Look, I, I got the other uh, they they who shall not be named up here pulled up just in case. Did she travel? Oh, she must have got fouled. I promise you. Um, I'm trying to see how far ahead are you versus me. Okay, so I've got so that and that's another thing that'll be kind of funny as we try to do this. Who's where on the stream? Like I've got Southern on the inbound right now underneath. So okay, see, I'm so I'm behind you. So the score is two to two right now. Um. I did have to pull in those other people's websites just to double check the score. So, um, so we're tied side, up. Whose side, who side are you pulling up now? Where are you getting the score? Are you getting the ESPN? The, the four letters. Yes, the four letter network. <laughs> that amazing. Isn't that amazing? How in the heck? Is, now, now, see, that's crazy because how are they pulling in the stats? All right. Well, hell, I'm, I'm not going to be shy about this, Keith. I'm just going to go ahead and pull their stats in if that's yeah. what's going to happen here. Look, look. So we're down what four two right now. Look, looks like so. Um, I don't know. I'm wondering why we kind of have the girls dribble in this corner. I see she's got that pick and roll going. Uh oh, set her up for three. She missed it. All right, so that's kind of one of my questions. I also, you know, whew, that stage up there, <laughs> that stage just sitting up there is kind of like a big middle finger to like, yeah. Celebrated the championship before? last night, right? Oh, is that from the other night? <laughs> That's from yesterday, from the celebration. Just seen a three by Yvette Subaretz, I believe. Yes. I, yep. funny, I, now, you know, it's funny. I, I mentioned this, you know, there's Yvette that got a three off. But, you know, they were, and I say they, the team 
they passed shots up to a event all kinds of ways at Bethune. I couldn't understand it. I was like, dribble drive, kick, there's event wide open in the corner on the wing. Man, they didn't throw her the ball for nothing. And I don't know whether she felt some kind of way about that. I would have. And, and she's bringing the ball up, which is something that, you know, y'all talked about on the show, like her um, ineptitude when it came to dribbling. <laughs> All right, so what we do have is we do have audio now. There we go. And he doesn't have to say the name Musa. <laughs> Looks like we've got uh, our our basketball, our football team. Uh, Melvin Beal and Al Chester. Unbelievable. We got a score, but we have nothing else. So it's six to six. They're listening to you, Brian. They're trying to get the score up, though. Oh, okay. Well, hey, all right. That's good to know. Hey, appreciate y'all. Hey, I see the score up on the uh, on the broadcast. Ooh. Now, so Brian, you're the basketball coach here. Um, yeah, yeah. You know we got to get a quarter breakdown from you. Well, what I'm interested in, what I'm also trying to, okay, I am. We are live. I'm trying to make sure I'm live because, again, what I'm looking at on the broadcast feed is behind the actual score, which is now Southern eight, Bam six. With mm -hmm. 50 to play, so the clock's be, uh, not working either. Oh my god, how do we have we, we've got these beautiful bells and and whistles, and 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 unfortunately, everything ain't working. Um, that's got to be frustrating from for our friends in the administration. Olivia Delancey just hit a three. Oh, it was a nice one, too. Yeah, so that's got to put us up uh, nine to uh, nine to eight if I'm doing my own math here. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, Delancey, uh, she's the real deal, man. She uh, now she's a uh, she's what I like to call a volume shooter. Uh, she has a big green light. I mean, and that light about as big as that lane in there, Keith, as, as, as big as that lane is green, she's got that kind of – and she is not shy about shooting it at all. Um, I thought the Bethune game was a pretty efficient game for her. If I if I recall her numbers correctly, um, she was uh, – hold on, I got those stats somewhere. I have to look for that and see what she, what she was exactly. Uh, right now, Southern leading 10 to 9. And I was sitting here on my other TV here uh, watching this other game. Uh, Delancey, uh, last week at Bethune, she was 11 of 26 from the field total. Four of nine from behind the arc, three of three at the free throw line. Okay. So, I mean, you know, she put up 26 shots. Grizzle put up 22. The next closest person to put up anywhere close, Keith, was Nashani Gilbert with six shots. So, <laughs> you talk about being uh, a team, I don't want to say a team of two, but two primary, you know, shooters. Two primary Wait, scores. We're the Golden State Warriors. <laughs> you got Clay and Steph, and then you got everybody else. <laughs> so something to that effect. Something to that effect. Uh, what up, Montre? Good to see you. Thanks for checking in with us. Um, got our first spammer 
of the day. So we'll go ahead and unblock that user. That's always Back. powerful via Facebook too. So that's hey. uh, nice. Uh, Israel Happy said, more too. Grambling and Bethune. Now, you know, what up, Israel? I don't, I won't be shy about pulling up another feed here. So I'm just, you know, I don't know if I want to see though, Bethune. Now, I may, we may do that for some self scout purposes because we do have to play Grambling on Monday. But uh, I don't want to have to see any more Bethune until the end of the season. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, at this point, Am I the only one that feels like, yo, this would be a great time for some throwback games? Because I tell you what, uh, the way these crowds are looking, you can put these games in Gaither and we would be okay. Hey, uh, speaking of throwback, Keith, uh, that was a that was something that my good friend Mike Reed was talking about. Apparently, we have a date. Let me see if I can pull up the schedule here. There's supposed to be a throwback day, um, I think, in February. And if I have the date right, yeah, February 24th against Alabama State. It's a Saturday. And he was he was saying, you know what? Honestly, if we're going to really call it a throwback, that game needs to be played in Gaither. Doesn't it? In, in Gaither. And wearing the orange LeBrons. Like, honestly, the orange LeBrons look like the old school FAMU uniforms. Like, so it's kind of a thought. I mean, I know, you know, I know we have the white ones and I, I like I like how they look, obviously. Uh, but those oranges look like those old, you know, just. Well, that's what they're wearing. Yeah. See here, game color change. They're wearing the orange okay. for that game. Uh, but yeah, throwback game. Um, you know, we, we, we need to start mentioning that as often as possible. Now, here are the challenges to that, Keith. I don't know if you've seen that court over there. It's, 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 it looks like it's purposed for volleyball. I, I, I don't know if you can. I don't know if we have a portable court that we can roll it. No, no, you're shaking your head. See, I don't think so. I don't think you're so. You're a realist. You're a realist. <laughs> Before I even get it out, he's like, mm -mm, Brian, nope. He's <laughs> like, cancel that idea. All right, let's yeah. see. Hold on. Live stats are working. Uh -oh. All right, go. Live stats are working. Uh, this is a beautiful thing. Uh, 1311 right now. Let, let me see. Which one is the better thing to push i put it on the split box right here because okay. the split box does go play by play here and let me see if i can i don't know am i am i able to add one more and you have the live stats through rattlers plus through rattlers plus i do okay and the live stats nope, on rattlers I plus are they're they're actually ahead of espn so shout out to josh and the crew Y'all see Josh there in the uh, green hat, so we we definitely have the best SID out there. Yeah, definitely do, definitely do. Um, now let me see. Now the challenging part is I don't know what we'll be able to glean in terms of audio. I think this is one of those situations where I thought I might try to bring in some live audio, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Let me see. So, so wait, because I can hear the audio. Is that the audio? Did you are you playing the live audio or is that just my wait my computer that's, playing it? That's probably go ahead. Play. Hold on. I have mine on mute, so play yours. That's probably just mine's mute. on mute. Oh, well, let me see if I can. Uh, at least I thought it was on mute. Nope, it's uh, it's soft because that's why I was kind of like, is that Brian talking or no? I don't, I don't hear it, so it, it must not be coming through through the hmm. uh through the feed here we see okay let's do this brian i'm gonna drop this here share screen all right do you hear anything or or is just us talking right now? Well, I just, I just go ahead, do what, do what you need to do there. Go ahead. Let's see, because I got it in a shared screen. Let me see if I add it to the stage here. Nope. No sound. No sound. Okay. Let's see, because it, it, it's that one, but. 
yeah. <laughs> Make sure we don't show anything long enough to get any, you know. Yeah. All right. So let's see. All right. There we go. We can go even bigger here with this setup. I like this setup right here where we go larger box. And now, you know, so what I'm going to have to do then, I'm going to have to go into my play by play analysis here and, you know, kind of just hit the people with what I see. So obviously my screen is a bit behind this score that I see um, showing us down. The screen is showing us down 15 to 13. Obviously, if you can see the live score, we are currently down 18 to 13. Yeah, and mine says 13, 15, so. Yeah, yeah, and they just, they just hit a three right there, so that's why you see that score there. Um, so I, I like I do like Southern's defense is aggressive though. I, not trying to be like you know the other teams, whatever is whatever, but their defense is pretty tenacious. Mm -hmm. I mean, and we we have better passing discipline. Like last year, there was a lot of cross court passes that you would actually hear Coach Pillow fussing about, like no cross court passes, and you're like, eh. Hey, so look, that that's what amazed me about that game. Um, having a a front row seat right behind um, Coach Gordon. I tell you, some of the passes and some of the decisions were brutal. The turnovers, mm -hmm. I mean, they were just I, – I, I, I call them because, again, I, I watch – I coach varsity and coach JV boys, so I deal with a lot of JV boys. And, and JV boys make a lot of mistakes, okay? Um, and some of the passes were were like – that level like they were bad they were just uncharacteristic i don't know whether it was the pressure the moment whatever it was but there was just really bad bad passes constantly being made but you know the fact that we recovered out of them is what you know we we had a game where we actually forced 17 turnovers you know yeah we committed 17 but we forced 17 um and if i did a quick look at the stats from last week to this week or first half to second half uh if i can if i can find those Ugh. I, I really want her to to pass that ball our zone defense is working pretty well though so uh the video we uh we do have video um for those who want to know it's just that in the uh in the spirit of just honor we're not showing it on here, um, but we are actually watching the game. Like Brian and I are both watching it, so we just right, want to make right. sure we don't get uh, that slap on the wrist and the you're getting taken off <laughs> everything for showing a game. Yeah, exactly. You know, if this game were being featured on YouTube, we we'd play it, but because it is uh, on a paywall and us being media, you know, we got to sort of observe, you know media rights now if i had my setup where i could get replays then i could actually clip replays during mm -hmm. the game that's a whole thing though but that's like me producing a game on remote we we do that you know with the black Power sports network we do that but i i don't have the energy to clip highlights during the game while we're sitting here chatting uh, uh chatting here so um Liv, you let me know. Liv, uh, are you uh, – I, I want to think – I know Liv's jumped in. Uh, maybe she's watching. She's watching the game probably. I sent you the link, Liv. So if you want to – anytime you want to jump in, you know, you're always welcome. If you want to jump in, you got to step out, whatever whatever you want to do. Let's see. Score is 18-14 right now. I want to take right. a look at, again, the uh, standings right now in the conference. Southern, of course, 2-0. and um, Just 4-9 and nine overall. They have won now three in a row. They won a game right before they went in the conference play. Um, just one of the few teams that had a winning record come out of the non-conference was uh, Bethune-Cookman. Uh, they were 8-4 and four coming out of the non-conference. They're, they're now... Uh, no, excuse me, they were 9-4 coming out of the non-conference, and now they are 
Uh, it's a good pace, man. The the our our ladies they they defend. I know I know we're a bit undersized. Um, I'd love to hear from Liv later whether this team, whether Southern size is a fit for us or a matchup nightmare. A lot of missed jump shots. Yeah, we're playing solid defense. We've been playing in like a zone defense. So I, I like I, I like how seeing us rotate the zone. It's just we're a lot more disciplined last year. I mean, you know, you hate to kind of like use that as a comparison, but it's a comparison that's there. Uh, you you can see that, and you can definitely see it's, it's the the bench play is better. There's an undisciplined play there. Now you got Nashani inbounding, and Subarets instead of here comes Southern the full court press right while the official won't give uh, the inbounder the ball, but Subarets just stands there. She doesn't come to the ball. That's like you know you, you got to move. And you can't stand stationary. You got to come to the ball. Um, behind the back dribbles, the kiss of death. I I hate behind the back dribbles. And there's that uncharacteristic turnover. I mean, you try to get a ball, you save a ball from going across the half court, then you throw it just randomly up in the air, and a southern player picks it off. Fortunately, it doesn't come back to bite us in the butt. Um. But that's the that's the kind of turnover mistake, Keith, that that kills us. That that killed us many many a possessions against Bethune. You know, um, just not a fan of behind the back in traffic, Keith. I, I'm not. No, no. I mean, just to, to me, at a certain point, it's just basic fundamentals. Like, just just stick to the fundamentals, man. Like, I I don't know how much of this, you know, and and. It's 18-14, so you're not overly frustrated with the score as much as you're not happy with where you're at as far as getting points right now. Like You, you should probably have a few more points, but at the same point, you're, you're not just killing yourself, but you're not helping yourself. Like this, well, this could be a game where you could be doing a lot better. Here's what's actually helping us. We are 3 of 9 from the field in the first quarter. Southern is 7 of 13. So that's telling you Southern's getting up, you know, four four more shots. Uh, we are two of four from behind the arc. They are one for four. So we're defending the three well. Um, and we've made a couple baskets. But here's the key stat. We've been to the free throw line eight times, twice as much as Southern, who's only been there four. We are six of eight at the free throw line. They are three of four. And that is the main reason why we're in this ball game. Um, Olivia Delancey with seven points, two of five from the field. That's a good shooting night for her. Um, Yvette Subarets with a three and three points. Ariana Grizzle with two points, both at the free throw line. And Periana Sylvester with uh, two points off the free throw line as well. Subarets played all 10 minutes, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, a short lineup uh, leading Southern. Uh, see, Southern came out and hit a three. No, check it a two, it looks like. Uh, Southern scoring is really balanced right now. They've got four or five, seven, seven girls, seven ladies have scored for Southern thus far. Yeah, and her foot was on the line. So like you said, that was – so mine is where she just made the shot. So okay. um, like you said, how, how do we adjust though as far as the inbound pass? Like that inbound pass is kind of rough. Like and how it do should you – it shouldn't no. be that it, it you know that's I always like to say the most important person on the floor at any point in time is the person with the ball. So at the inbound, on an inbound, if you're the inbound, you are the most important person on the floor. You mm -hmm. can't just throw that ball away. You got to make sure that you give a good clean pass to a teammate. Yep, and that was just an example of a poor pass. If you're watching online, you, you're going to see where you know. We we set up some really crappy screens. Like we, we try to screen, but they're kind of soft. Nobody really truly gets set. And then all of a sudden we just start just kind of throwing the ball around looking for an open person, opposed to maybe just having the dribbler step back and really set up a play. Um, just kind of some of the things that you're kind of seeing. Some of it 
it, it just asks you how much of it is just flat out the the coaching, but then how much it is the talent because the same problems you had from last year with a lot of the same players. Yeah, and I and I know I bet you anything, Coach uh, Coach Gordon is is losing her mind on these inbound passes. I mean, that's supposed to be one of the simple things that you work on and you go through, and we can't execute the inbound play. Oh yeah, and that was a nice play design to get the ball to super it. Um, you, I don't mind that shot from number one. She missed it, but wasn't a terrible shot. Um, and so for me, when I'm watching basketball, I'm big on shot uh, shot selection. Like Southern players just shot for three. She was wide open, great shot. She makes it. Whereas transition. the transition, whereas you know, the right right before that, our player she shoots in the in the in the key area, but a little bit of congestion in the area. But she took a better shot. Super it gives up the ball so that her teammate can get a better shot, but we miss it. So this is kind of where now defensively you got to get back home. Maybe you need to rotate players a little bit because we've seen a lot of the same players on the court for a while. Like these are some of the things that, you know, just looking at, I mean, at this point in the season, we're not overly hypercritical because it's her first season and we just had a really bad season for the last couple of years. So nobody's expecting much from her but we're also looking to see some growth from these players by season's end. Let me see. I'm going to, let me see if I can jump over and show the replay here. Cause that's the one thing I can do is I can rewind Keith. I discovered how to rewind. So <laughs> let's go oh, to yeah. the, let's go to the replay here. And I know I can show this because this is in replay mode. Uh, and I'll let you know if we can hear the audio, maybe we can use that audio, the live audio. Look at that. In a second. Uh, see now the uh, it went back that far. Got that. Up. Where, how far are you trying to go back to? About 30? I, well, I, I was just trying to get back to – hold on. Okay. Here, let me see if I can set this up where we were talking about uh, inbound plays here and inbound the ball. All right. Here we go. Uh, watching us inbound the ball here. Nearly a turnover here. This is a replay, just in case anybody's wondering. This is replay from earlier here. This is earlier here right before the timeout. In the second quarter, I think this is that play we were talking about. Yep, this is the player of Super X. That's that Nashani. Now, that's a good shot by Nashani. But it you is. notice nobody, nobody's getting back. Now, here's Southern in transition. Watch the girl bottom of the screen. Somebody's got to come meet her. Instead, we stay back on her, and she knocks down a three. And then here, coach calls a timeout. Oh, and then on, on the reef on the play that just happened, looks like I don't know who they're going to call the foul on, but looks like two of us gave up charging. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, you go back to the live, man. It's I mean, at this point, it would be a replay, but it's going to be at about 34 minutes in. Um, you're going to see not a good not a good take. I um, mean, we do get a substitution coming in uh, two substitutions look like no, just one. But. Yeah, kind of not a great, not a great penalty. Um, two people in the penalty. same place getting charging. Okay, so this is why the young lady's at the free throw line right now. Yes, sir. All right, so let me see if I can rewind back. This full court pressure, though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the thing. You see, as a young lady, like she's gonna bring it up, takes her to the half court, and it's just like it's 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 good fundamental basketball to me. Like you take the ball, you take it to the middle of the floor, it gives you an option to go left or right. You have the player, which is Subert, who doesn't seem like a defensive specialist. Kind of, she's out there struggling, not sure what to do, and in the words of Coach Go Thirty, pisses down her leg, <laughs> and she gets taken to the hole, and you're like. And a foul. So it's like, you know, not speaking ill of the player, you know, just kind of making a little light bit of joke or funny at it. But it's it's the truth. Like, got to take it to the hole because we're exactly in a comfortable position. So 
it's uh, I want to see, yeah. I I, I see if I can. Okay, this is coming us coming out of the timeout. Um, our ball. I'm gonna go to the uh, replay here. This is uh, this is replay. This is replay, folks. Okay. Replay live action here. This is replay. Excuse me. Replay coming out of the timeout. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch this. You can't pick your dribble up looking to pass. You have to pass out of the dribble. Then we're still throwing high passes. Got to catch the ball, sweetheart. You got to catch the ball. Nice dribble handoff. Southern's not giving up anything. There's a kick out. Open shot by Gilbert. Bam. That's a nice shot. Open too. Right. Good yeah. and selfless play. Good, good ball movement. Get them. Get the defense to, to sink in, and then come back and drop a three. Okay, that's something I'm talking about. Like that charge is ridiculous. <laughs> well, you know what that is? That's a foul on Sylvester because her feet are outside of the. Uh, her feet are inside that that uh, restricted circle. If I'm if I'm if I'm correct on that, I think that's why she picked that up. All right, twenty four nineteen. There's a three point shot by Delancey. Nope, I recognize that bob on that young lady's head anywhere. So that's Delancey. <laughs> That, that, that's how that's how I've gotten to know these girls. Look, that's you know honestly, as you watch these teams and you get to know the players, you start to they all have little things. You know, whether it be the bob in the hair, the 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 a tattoo you know, or something. Sleep, well, you can't see a tattoo from this distance, but like the 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 leg sleeve, that's the Lancy. Um, you know, you can probably make out Subarats. Uh, you can make out Nashani a little bit. That's Nashani oh. in the corner. Why? Just why? The, no, no. That's rough. Now, there's a wide open shot. There you go. We made it. We made it. Well, but but, but see, that's... <laughs> go ahead. You're, <laughs> you're frustrated. Go ahead. Say it. Watching Subarets dribble and take the ball into the in down low like she's a big player. She's not a big. Like, she, she's she's a guard. Like, baby girl, be a guard. Like, stop trying to hey, take wait, it to the hole all the time. Wait, wait until Liv comes here. Liv, Liv. Oh, my God. She... I mean, she loves. Uh, she, there's a lot of love there, but boy, she she will keep it real about super rats and and tell. I've heard her say it on the show. She was oh, saying, I have too. Young lady, just stand on the perimeter and shoot. That's all it. This, all this extra dribbling you're doing, where are you going? Where are you going? It, unless it's a play where, unless it's a design play where there's a pick that allows her to come off of that pick into an open shot, she shouldn't be dribbling as much because you're a shooter. Like, be a shooter. Like. I joke with I joke with my students all the time. They're like, "Hey, you know, I'll, I'll cook you on the court." It's like you might, but on the track, you ain't got nothing for me. It's like when I played basketball with with whomever, I was always a defensive guy. I was not gonna shoot. I wasn't gonna do a whole lot. I was gonna get you the ball, rebound, give it to who needs to go. Like sometimes we have to understand our roles within the team. And I don't know how much is that just play design overall, or her just trying to do a little too much. Well, I, you know, I'm I'm really impressed. Come 534 remaining in the second quarter, 24-21. This this is the kind of look, we are going to stay with a lot of teams because mm -hmm. defensively um we we're, we're not bad. I mean, we we hustle. Now, what's killing me, I don't know if you can see this stat, Keith. We have committed 11 turnovers. I don't know if you can see me highlighting in the circle, folks, right there. That 11, they have committed four. That is not sustainable. That's not sustainable if you expect to win ball games. We we can't have a, a we can't have a a uh, assist to turnover ratio, or excuse me, a turnover to assist ratio of three to one. That doesn't work. It's supposed to be the other way, assist to turnover ratio, right? <laughs> That's how it's supposed to be. Carlos Brown joining us. His show must have just finished. Good to see Carlos jumping in. Um, Carlos, what is up? Carlos, man, yeah, You're good people, son. man. Lady Jaguars, right now out to a 26 21 lead. Uh, again, you may be wondering, Carlos, uh, are we are we going to show any video? Unfortunately, we can't show any live video, but I can show replays. So if there's a dead ball and I need to go back to show something, I can and see there's that there's that passing again. Mm -hmm. That passing that would be turnover number twelve, if I'm not mistaken. Good God, it's it's definitely a problem. Um, and one of the things, and look, I, credit to 
Look, if you go check out this family website, uh, it's 28 to 21. But the shot, we actually have shot charts. Like, you, you got you got some good data on here just to kind of see where some of the players are shooting at, where they're shooting from. Like, y'all getting, y'all getting some quality matrix from the Rattlers over here. Look, go no look games played chart. by Josh. Yeah, look at that. Shot chart. There's a shot chart there. Live in-game. Mm -hmm. And you can see where even looking at here, Southern's gotten some – they've made the better shots. I mean, those shots around the key there, top of the key, they've made us – we've hit some threes and close to threes and kind of rangy like shots. Well, you like that, the heat map. That's the heat map right there. Now, I guess – it's kind of if the miss shots are hot. I don't know if that's supposed to work. If I'm not supposed to be hot, if the if the misses are supposed to be hot, I would imagine the the, hit, the misses are supposed to be cold. But it is what it is. Okay, look look at fan views up here. No games played with the adva advanced matrix over here. I'm telling you, man, good stuff. Tell you what, man, it's gonna be some great stuff for a basketball coach in a year or two, isn't it? Gee. <laughs> 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 Boy, you mess. Uh 28 to 21 is the score. It looks like there's about uh at least 430 on the video. I don't know, has the video caught up to the stats yet? No, it's pretty close. It's, it's pretty close. close. Five it's seconds off, man. All right, all right. So we're we're getting there. We're cooking with some hot grease now. Looks like Ariana Grizzle has checked back in. No, that's not grizzled. The uh Let's see yeah. was it Southern's top scorer is Johnson oh. right now? Johnson and Gur Gordine. Sorry. Gordine. So yeah. Naya Gordine Naya right Gordine. now for FAMU. Um let's see what we got here. Naya These Gordine don't look right. <laughs> Genovia Johnson. And uh, leading us right now, you got Olivia Delancey with seven. And probably Grizzle. Nope, he's Subarettes with five. Subarettes with five. 28 21 is the score. And Subarettes that has hit a three. Um, so that that's you know part of the reason there. So turnover number 13. Man, look, I I'm glad we didn't do a drinking game on turnovers, uh Keith, but we may have to do that in the second game. I'm look. calling up we may <laughs> We we're gonna do a drinking game in the second game, for turnovers. So every time there's a turnover, like right now, this is this is lemonade. But there might be some rum in it later. I don't know because these turnovers. Brian, you, Brian's late to the party. I got I got two rums in mine. <laughs> I got Babico and Bacardi. <laughs> man, you, you're getting after it. There you go. Hey man, you know what you you know we know what we came here for. <laughs> A good time, not a long time. That, yeah, hello, somebody. Right. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Full court pressure. Delancey bringing it up on the right sideline. Delancey, Ooh. pull up, jump shot. Why? Good I don't like miss. the shot selection. That's what she does. That's why didn't she, she get a foul, though? Like, why didn't we get number three? It seemed like she got fouled on that. And that's not me being like a homer. I thought she got fouled. Nice pushing of the pace there by Southern. Oh, nice jumping. My question to you, Brian, is how do we break this press? You know, just as you being a basketball aficionado, like that basketball, if you're not, Brian is a bit of a jack of all trades. Ooh, nice little two pointer. But how does FAMU break this press? So I like to think with a with a two two, well, let me see. It's a one two, it's a diamond press. Let me see it the next time again. Let me double check and make sure it's a one. But I will say this first off, the two passers or the two the two options for the inbounder, whether it be right or left, they've got to they've got to come to the ball. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's a it's a it's a relaxed press. So they relax out of it. Let's see when Southern picks it back up. Oh, uh, oh, she got fouled. I didn't think she was going to get that there. I didn't think so either. I was the refs. The refs have, have been playing a little loose on the fouls. Like I, I'm not. I can't overly sit up here and uh, complain too bad. Let's see if there's a go back button here. And that's Subarets shooting that's the free throw. Cool. Oh, we have two Subarets. Oh, well, you have sisters on the team, too. <laughs> I'm like, wait, that's Subarets. And then I was like, wait, that one's also Subarets. <laughs> Let's 
Damn, we got all the Spanish money coming over here. Hey, you know, pillow, pillow went international. She had to. Hey, yeah. <laughs> oh, got a whoa. Okay, call time out. Call time out. I'm gonna show you the replay here from the uh, from Subarats here. Uh, let's see. Looks like we got another turnover on FAMU coming out of this. Is it a turnover or a foul? All Wait, right, this is see. from uh, 305 Mark. Okay. Yeah, very relaxed press here. Here's Subarets. Now, what's funny about this, that's a good move. You know, now she's mm -hmm. got to be able to make that coming out of the spin move. But that's the second player that has come out in the full court and pushed the ball. We saw Delancey do it in the possession right before that. So, you know, Southern at that point, I don't know whether Southern is just casually picking up man to man fool it's a it's a light man to man uh not really trying to put pressure but they'll change it up they will yeah. switch and they will go to a more aggressive press yeah and we're starting to see them start to attack it like you're starting to see where the famu guards are actually like now nah, bump this we're going to attack this up the middle you can see the better dribblers like one super is, is definitely a better dribbler than the other one uh, and that one is definitely controlling the ball more. But you're also seeing, what's that, five right there? Is that Grizzle? Is that the Grizzle? Yeah. That is the yeah. Grizzle. Uh, Grizzle, 3.1 possession ball game. Yeah, and, and she attacks the basket. She gets a penalty. You can see, man, and, and you, you can definitely see that we're being more intensive about or, uh, yeah, intentive about pushing that and trying to attack that spot. Moving screen called on Southern. Fam, you ball. Ooh. Now, you can call me crazy here. Now, I, I'd love to hear. I know if Liv is watching, I'm a, we're going to bring Liv in coming in at halftime, right? I'm going to tell you, my most impactful player is, uh, see, I'll tell you. How do you mess up that inbound, bro? That I'm sorry. Well, wait a minute. Are you on the inbound or the press that fell apart? That was the, they were pressing, but they, they they were pressing, but the inbound was trash anyway. Well, again, you know, at some point, the 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 young lady who's coming to the ball, she has to stop or give the inbounder uh, a target, you know, and you got to give that person a target. Now, the one thing we're trying to dribble through their press. That's a nice stop up and under by Delancey. We cut it to within one. Yep. Oh, and thirty, she made it. Nice layup. I, I like that. She kind of paused with the ball, let the defender run past her, and then took a nice, easy shot. I mean, it was – is she a great dribbler? Nah, but, you know, she she knows her job. She got it done. That's all I need. And we're Here coming back. Like It's a timeout, so let's go to the replay. We can kind of come back and we can we can watch. We can watch this. Yep, and a big shout-out for those that are uh, – the St. Augustine Willie Gallimore chapter has six buses. They took 250 students – Perspective students of Florida Indian University today. Hopefully, all 250 are in the gym watching this basketball and paid with a ticket. It looks like it looks like there's a lot of people. Okay, so this is a replay. Fam, you down three. We play some pretty good defense. Yeah, yeah see, I like, right I like the watch, movement. watch the screen. Here comes the screen. It's gonna be a moving screen here. Tripped her. Yeah. What's yeah. what's amazing is Nashani Gilbert is guarding a post. Nashani Gilbert is a I don't know. I'd call her more of a guard, but because of how physical she is mm -hmm. now. Okay. Here we go. Inbound. Now see, somebody's got to be in the middle of this press. See, come back to the ball. He'll pass, pass. Somebody should be in the middle. Nobody's in the middle. So now I'm forced to dribble, but really Delancey's look should have been the sideline. So I see what coach Gordon must be teaching them on their press break. Is mm -hmm. she likes to, the ball on the sideline i would prefer to have somebody in the middle i always like to have somebody in the middle for a, a pass option mm -hmm. normally it's a bigger you, player correct no no it, it's my me i like to put my my best ball handler my best most reliable uh guard or wing you know that can catch the ball 
mm. uh, because that person has to distribute the ball. So I like to put maybe a three or or a, a you know, you might say a small forward or a power. I wouldn't necessarily put a two or center. three, right? Yeah, yeah, two or three. I wouldn't put a center in in the middle unless that person is really good, kind of, you know, a, a very good passer. Oh, that yeah. shot by number 30, man. She killed me with that. She took a couple of them, but that was too far. That's not quite her range because uh, you just had a great defensive uh, drive that you really stopped them. Delancey, and she just took a bad shot. I mean, I, I, like I told you, man, I'm, I'm all about shot selection. So for me, I feel like passing the ball and good shot selection will reward you in the end. And you're playing good defense. Your defense is smothering Southern. But she's uh, Delancey's taking shots that are not within her range. I mean, that no. top of the key no. area, that Bro, shot ain't hers. No, they're, what it is is they're in her range, but mm -hmm. she has to learn when they're contested and when they're not. She, okay. can, she can shoot that shot. Right. It's the point of knowing when to shoot the shot and when not to shoot the shot. Okay. And okay. She, I, she just has an over – she has confidence – <laughs> and when you have confidence, man, you think you can shoot from anywhere. It, it really <laughs> it's like that. I, you know, I've never been that, but I've, but I've seen many of players. And again, when I told you she had a green light, that's as big as that lane. Uh, that now you're starting to see it. I see it. And it, and it, at, at a certain point, it's kind of getting to where it's like, yes. hey, sister girl, don't do that. Oh, that's a block. That's a block. Oh, come that's on. Block. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not that's that's not uh, charging at all. No, because she's inside that restricted area. So the Rattlers with 0.7 seconds left. Uh, well, you can see it on the stats. They tie it up. Uh, let's see if they made the second free throw here. Let me see. Uh, is Kelvin. OK, Kelvin must be there. Yes. If I'm cousin Kelvin's at the game, tell them to take some pictures. <laughs> I'm texting Liv now to tell her to come in at halftime. <laughs> so if she's watching. Uh, so she missed the first shot. Okay. So she must have made the second one, and we're going to go and uh, we're going to go into halftime uh, tied at 28, which, yes, she makes the second shot. And so it's 28 to 28 at half. And honestly, considering. That's huge. It, That's huge. Exactly. That's huge. Considering where this program is. No, bro. I'm. I'm. Forget. Don't even look at it that big. Don't even look at it that big. Let focus in. Bring it home. On this game, I am. But it's just we've committed. Is that number right? Okay, oh, it's not 18. Hell, I thought my screen was small. That's 15 first half turnovers. Last week we only made 17. You know how many turnovers we used to spray the ball around last year, right? Like, like we were, you know, just at a gun range. Um. 15 was nothing in a half last year. That was like almost the norm. So to have to have thrown or committed 15 turnovers and only have four assists. Okay. That's four to one. Um negative four to one. However, you want to how how however you mathematicians analyze that. Okay, four to one turnover to assist. Southern has 10 turnovers. And we're in a tie ball game. Get out of here. Ball game. And our shots, our shot selection really isn't that bad. Kind of like you were saying, uh, with, with Delancey, one of the things is knowing when to take the shot. And I get and that was some of the time she's taking the shot and she she got a little bit of an awkward shot selection, shot motion a little bit. Like it's, it's it looks kind of funny, but whatever gets you there, gets you there. But you start looking at the shot chart and you can see there starts to be a uh compression or a uh a, a correlation where you're starting to notice. We're shooting a lot of shots in the key that are probably closer to the bucket. And I would love to compare that to some of our shooting from previous uh, the previous season. I think that's that's intentional. And it's intentional to obviously you get a closer shot, you get a better shot. And those are higher percentage shots. If we hit two, three of those shots, we're up. I mean, and if you knock down a couple turnovers, look, th this is why I say I, I'm giving – I'm giving AD Sykes some some grace on this hire with the basketball coach because it, it so far is looking good. Uh, looks like at the half over in Daytona Beach, uh, Grambling is leading thirty nine to thirty eight. Uh, poor Liv, that's where she her eyes have been. <laughs> She's been watching more of that game. I bet she didn't even think this game was going to be close. I'm gonna text mm -hmm. her and say, Liv. 
You need to be watching this FAMU game because you you didn't think this FAMU game was going to be close. <laughs> no, no. And I mean, like you said, it, it's 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 that it's that kind of that surprise. Like this basketball team is while they haven't had the success that we would like to them for them to have had yet, they're actually she's 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 got something brewing. Um this this team, Keith, right? This team, I, I hate to use the word overachieving because we really, we don't have a, a they're actually, I, I can't say that they're overachieving because what have they really achieved, okay? So I'm, I'm, when I say that, what it, what it is is they're, they're playing competitive basketball, which a lot of times we didn't see last year. Um, we were, last year, we were what, one in four or no, not last year, but this the non-conference season, we lost four games that were winnable games, right? And we're not talking about the non – we're not talking about the Power Five games, right? We're talking the, the other mid-major games. We went one and four in those games, right? Bro, Brian won't say it. I'll say it. This team's overachieving. <laughs> like, go back and look at some of these games. I mean, Granted, the UF game's the UF game, but the Tennessee game was actually freaking competitive to a certain degree. You started looking like we should have beat UNF. We were competitive against Sam Houston State. University of Houston, which literally, like, you, know, you lost by 20, but that's that's not a bad team. You should have beat South Alabama. Like, there, there's I can look and I can look and close my eyes, snap my fingers, and this is a five-win basketball team. Cause considering I think. They had five wins last season, and that was an improvement. Like, I remember at the end of the season talking to Coach Pillar. I was like, hey, Coach, you realize you won more games than you did last year? And she's just looking down like, yeah, I did. <laughs> like, she didn't even realize that. So this is definitely an improvement. And I think if this team continues on by the end of the season, they're going to be that frustrating team that doesn't make the tournament, but that you're sitting there looking like, oh, next year's going to be looking bright. Like, looking at this roster – I don't see a lot of seniors. I see number zero, uh, Sylvester. She's a senior. Uh, Grizzle is a grad student. She's there last year, I believe. Subaret, one of them is a senior. The older, uh, the old Yvette, she's she's gone after this year. This is her last year of eligibility. Then uh, Latore, she look, she's a senior. Uh, and Bostic. So you already got a commitment from a guard from Georgia. Uh, that's coming in. So can we get some more, you know, uh, ladies in here? You know, I think so. And, oh, and can well. we get some camps going? Like, Brian, like, is that the next, like, do we talk to Coach P? Like, Coach P, is a, Coach P and, uh, <laughs> is like the only one that's got the camps going. And Coach well, Simmons did. Well, Coach P can have camps because she has a facility that's not being used by anybody else. It's not being used for convocations and classes and other stuff, right? I mean that that the facility usage at uh, the uh, you know at the uh, I can't think of the name Boston of the Center. field house, Boston Center. Thank you. The the it's being used by other people, and that's a pro You know, I don't know. You know, I and I and I even suggested I was like, you know, we got to have another facility to be able to use a camp. You know, I mean, I would think FAMU DRS has a nice has a nice facility down there. And I and I know that sounds it sounds small schoolish. Right. I, I, but it, but you got to do what you got to do. You use what you have. I, think. I use what you have. I like, mean, it, it, and I think, Brian, not to cut you off in the grand scheme of things, what FAMU has, you literally have three facilities in theory that you could use. You could use yeah. the Lawson Center, Gaither, yeah. as well as Family DRS's facilities during the summer. You could literally have like a basketball tournament where the team final camp. game was at team Lawson. Camp. Team camp. Yes, you can you can run team camps at FAMU High. You could run them probably at the student rec center. You could run them at Lawson because you could turn that into probably maybe three or four courts, maybe at least two. At least two courts, and you have Gaither. You you can really do something significant with the team camp. Um, 
and then you can use that to raise funds. Like that's that's the other side of this. Like this is a fundraising opportunity, bro. Like you literally have a like, recruiting tool, and then all of a sudden you get these girls walking into get into Lawson, and like, hey, this is where the final game. This is where we play our home games. Lawson is a nice facility. Like you start you and I mean you just show them around. Hey, this is this. This is that. You know, hey, we're trying to turn this program around. Coach pressure, you know, get her, get her a banner or something that the university creates and put it up there. Hashtag pressure, keep it moving. Like you got, we we got to get into the habit of selling the product and sell selling this 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 program. Man, look at you, Keith. You you got all kinds of great ideas. Somebody might want to hire you away if you keep dropping these kind of gems. Look, man, I think I've said, look, my my, my homeboy already was like, bro, you, you, you sure you don't want to go back to school and try to become an athletic director? I'm like, man. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, <laughs> let me see. I'm, I'm inspired. I'm going back to school. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see. All right. Let me uh, <laughs> let me show some scores here. Some uh, ads. I hate ads. Ooh, all right, Gr oh, Gremlin, so, Gremlin, and uh, what was that one point, one point yeah. game over there in uh, the world's most famous litter box? Okay, yeah, right there, right there. I got yeah. them on the screen here. Yeah, uh, the Tigers are beating the Stray Cats. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> then we got uh, Jackson, like and Alabama AM just started. How big is that loss going to be for them, Brian? Uh, that girl they lost is a major player. Uh, I mean, you know, I saw her last year when she when she came to Lawson and she tore us up a nice one. Uh, for Jackson State, you mean? Yeah, yeah, the girl that had the uh, it was a leg injury or something. Looked like an ACL or something when I saw the video, but I, I, yeah, I can't confirm. I, I, you know what? I got to You know, I'd hate to. Re I don't want to reach out to a. Uh, I got to be careful about which JSU person I reach out to. Somebody that's not going. Not gonna ask me about the, the coaching search or who who, who y'all gonna hire. So I got to be careful because people, folks want to trade seat. You know, they want to trade information. Like I got, like I got tips. I have nothing. I get all my information from Keith. Hey, and so family. <laughs> we know what the street committee say. Street exactly. committee say it's gonna be a cozy day in family. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like on Tuesday, it might be a cozy day on the highest of seven hills. Like, oh really? Oh, okay. Should did that a couple weeks ago. <laughs> or, or hell, or hell will freeze over. One of the two might happen. <laughs> Man, look, uh, uh, what the Alcorn and Alabama State, two to two, and man, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. The, what we've seen with FAMU football wise is Alabama State not the team to watch. I mean, they just got the best quarterback in the swag. Is he? You think Body is the best? <laughs> Best quarterback going into the off season, into the next season. I think he's the best quarterback returning because he's the most he's the most versatile in my personal opinion. I, I could be wrong, but I think he is the most versatile quarterback in the swag. I will tell <laughs> you, you know, Josh next. <laughs> yeah, I don't. EA, you crazy? I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna comment to you. <laughs> crazy. Oh. I, um, right. I will say I'm curious to see uh, JSU's quarterback, the kid who finished the season. Um, mm. for them is kind of intriguing, and uh, you know, will Grambling? What, what will happen with? I mean, there's so many question marks at the quarterback position for everybody. All right, hey, look who's live on location. Let's bring in cousin Kelvin here. What's up, cuz? We can hear you. Hold on, I gotta. Uh, all right, Kelvin, gotcha. I try to reduce your mic. Here it. And hear us. I don't know if you can hear us. We right, definitely hear. It's kind of loud in here, so. Yes, it is loud. Try to get the earphones in here. Yeah, yeah, that would help. <laughs> so can, that would help. Uh, hear you better. Hey, how's What's it up, going? Uh, any, any better? What's up, Cubs? Yeah, we can, I, we can hear you. Go ahead and say Look something. Fresh. Look, one thing Kelvin don't do. Kelvin don't play with y'all about these family outfits now. <laughs> Cause we fresh to death. Hey, hey uh, uh, fellas, I'm, I'm going to be real quick. 
next time I come in, I'll be prepared with my earphones. But uh, in terms of my observations for the first half of this game, pretty much when we're not in half court and we can get up and down the court, we score pretty efficiently. When we uh, when we had that love where we were stuck, stuck on like 14 for a few minutes, it was mostly because we were in the half court and, of course, turnovers. When we're in the half court, we have a lot of turnovers and we have trouble getting shots at the basket, quality shots at the basket. So the second half, that's what it's going to come down to. Can we stay in the game? Can we stay in striking distance? Do we have a score that gets hot, like Grizzle or Delancey, like she did against uh, Bethune-Cookman? Will she be able to, you know, go for about 15 or 20 in this next half? And uh, minimizing the turnovers, which means we got to kind of get out and run and so forth. We got to stay out of that half court. That is our uh, Achilles heel. Hey, that's pretty and, uh, good analysis there. Uh, Yo, you did amazing, man. And look, let me give you all some, some shout outs. Look, some of the uh, alumni said this is great. They are loving hey, this fellas, because some of them are on the road. Start. I have my, my, my daughter and a friend there. So I'm going to check out, but I'll be prepared and I'll check back in after the game. All right. Yes, sir. Good job. All right. Thanks, guys. I love that. I love that. Look at that. Yes. Live on. Yeah. Look, you don't get this everywhere. OG Strike Zone. No games played, baby. Hey, I, I tried to, I, man, I, tried, I, I prearranged. I, I worked on all of this. We got guys that moving parts. You see, uh, you know, if Liv wasn't watching another game, you know, we would have had some other analysis. I'm going to mess with her about that. She over there watching the wild, them, them uh, stray cats and what do you call them? Stray cats and wild tigers or something like that? Stray cats and the tigers on the, on the world's most famous litter box. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> not, not for dog people. Not for, not, dog for people, dog. People. not for dog people. All right, let's uh let's look at some of these stats, halftime stats. Surprisingly, well, twenty eight to twenty eight. So, like, if you would have told me that, I I don't think I would have believed that going to this game. No, not gonna lie, no, I definitely wouldn't have. Um, team stats brought to you by nobody. Um, but uh, we've got the cool uh, fund. Don't they support y'all? <laughs> Get some um, of y'all sponsors in there. The cigar Wawa, places. Wawa and public. Uh, Wawa and Publix tea, lemonade, lemonade. This, this is Hadley Hadley sweet tea with Babaco Haitian rum. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, in the first half, both teams shot twenty-two field goals. Southern was ten of twenty. Or oh, the second half must have just started. Uh, they were. 10 of 22, FAMU was 8 of 22. Did the second half already start? Uh, mine hasn't started yet. They're still yeah, in huddles, but it's about to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they're just getting on the court now. All right. Three-point field goal percentage. Uh, Three-point shots are very similar. We were 3 of 6. They were 2 of 6. Free throws. We went to the free throw line 14 times. That's impressive. Um, So that's what's keeping us in the ball game. The big stat. There's two big stats. We talked about turnovers. That is amazing. Amazing key that we have 15 turnovers, but we are out rebounding Southern 23 to 10. Um, I think that's, it was 23 at halftime, but that's man, a highlight stat. That is, yeah, that's a if we can if we can keep that going. See, those are the kind of things, Keith, that that make up for 15 turnovers. That's ridiculous. 15 turnovers, and your top two players are committing four of them. Now, that's that usage thing. You know, unfortunately, that's what happens. Hey, Tamara T, thanks for checking in. What's up, Tam? Sorry, I was over here looking at the game. Look, we going back and forth as we enter. Nobody scored yet, so y'all haven't missed much. Just uh, mediocre shot selection uh, <laughs> and struggling to get the ball in the, in the, in the cup, so. Exactly. Exactly. Um, but Keith, I, I really believe from what I've seen from this team, we play hard enough to be in ball games. Correct. Uh, Correct. Um, and that, that was my thing. Just looking at the men's team, the difference was I felt like not that the men didn't play hard. I just felt like by the end of the season, they didn't care anymore. But looking at the men care, you know, this year, but you look at the women's team, they're, they're starting to buy in. And that's the scary thing. When they buy in and she gets a few more players, 
in there. Not saying Grizzle's not a player, but, you know, we've talked about Grizzle's health and whatnot. But Grizzle's up there giving you 20, and sometimes darn near 30 points, you still taking L's. Like, you get another player that can give you 20, man, you know. They need, they need a, a consistent third option. I mean, Correct. it's good having Delancey. It's good to have uh, Grizzle. And I like Nashani, but Nashani is a bit of a specialist, I think. She's mm-hmm. a more of a defender, um, hustle person. Mm-hmm. Um, you need a you need somebody who can be the third option. I, I don't think it's Subarets because I don't feel like she can create off the dribble um no. well enough well enough. No, I, I think for Subaret from just watching her, I think she she would create, like I said before, off of a screen, but you you just Depending on her to go straight off dribble, that ain't gonna happen, Doc. She ain't that. She ain't that guy. Oh, contested oh. shot that was made, bro, that, bro. Uh, that's bro. Next level. That's that's, that, that's, uh, that's next level. That's grizzle on a contested shot that you probably are watching it go up, and you're like, oh, why would you shoot that? Unless I yeah. didn't see what the play, I didn't see what the shot clock was, so maybe it was down to like the last uh, second or two. She got it, and then Fanny forced another turnover. Like, again, coach, pressure. She, you're living up to the name. Like, your defense is pressure, and I like it. I, I definitely like it. She needs to come into the ONG strike zone and talk. You know, see about these Get folks, back. man. Oh, you got to shoot that, Nashani. Yeah. You got to shoot that shot. That should have been a three. Oh, but she'll shoot that. <laughs> she missed it, but it's okay. Do we get the ball back? We get the ball back. First shot That's clock, right. too. That's little super rots. Uh, let me make sure I give her props for her name because, I, you know, that's um, you know, give the girl a little respect. I know what you're saying. Put some respect on her name. I, Ina, I think that's Ina. Ina, I, yes, I believe it's Ina. I Either Ina or Anna. Little super rats, you know, with her sister being, you know, the older of the two. And she's a she's a she's a she's a she's a baller. She's a physical little something. I mean, you know. And and man, I tell you what, when when you play for Coach Gordon Keith, you got to have some thick skin because she is real with these young ladies when they when they're on the sideline and they make mistakes. Mm-hmm. Oh, like man, what? Just like the one we just saw. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> you you she is, sometimes you hear her reference. She call herself mom. She talks to these girls like they like they are her daughter or a yeah. daughter. like I've heard my mom talk to. My mom used to talk to my daughter, and you'd be like, ooh, I don't want to catch that. <laughs> um, she calls herself mom. I tell you what, she talks to these girls. But, you know, I, I, I heard her say nothing that wasn't true. Mm. Nothing that wasn't true at all. And I mean, she was, I mean, We got to travel on Southern. Sorry. <laughs> That's right. Southern's playing sloppy. Southern is so, – and I don't know if that's all our defense or – um, or, or just Southern be a sloppy. I, you know, I wish I had I a. Un- both. It I could think be both, bro. And I think some of it's just getting tired. Like, she, oh, Super, what the, what are up. you doing? Oh, what? She, no back. vowel. She got the shot. What the Take heck? Take that back. He gives Super Rats her props right there. Come on now, Keith. <laughs> Man, You're look, I, I, I had no faith in her. <laughs> I got to go to the replay. So, uh, next time, where was that mark at? One, uh, 14. I see it. Yeah, I gotta come back to that. One, that one twelve, tough. about about one thirteen. Yeah, one twelve, one thirteen. That um, but I think Southern's getting tired too. Like I think some of this is the, I and I would love to talk to Coach Pressure and ask her about the conditioning the of this team. Over. Yeah, like how much of this is con- con- conditioning? You know, like what kind of conditioning are you doing? Because you're starting to see Southern's players are getting tired. Like beginning of the game, they were hanging with FAMU, but now. I, I, you know, we're not wearing them out like old fashioned, but it's that we're out hustling them. Like we got some hustle well, girls out here. Here, here's the big difference, Keith. Um, we've had a full week off, and oops, uh, we're at three. Uh, Evet okay. on fire with some with polenta three. on that one, baby. That's five straight points for Evet. The Rattlers are up thirty-five, thirty-two. Ah, oh, she missed rebound. the rebound. You got to get that rebound. Got to rebound. That's that's a that's a playmaking move. Oh no 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 no! Don't run to that. <laughs> no no, you're not that guy. You're not that guy. 
Facet, you're not that guy. <laughs> and, you know, oh, can't pick up your dribble right there, Nashani. No. Oh, Just shoot at this point. Awesome. No, no, she's not a shooter. She's there She's there for a big body to give uh, somebody some rebounding. She's not there to shoot. She Where's isn't, but I – oh. See that that's a that's a tough shot. That's a yeah, that's a tested jump shot with no opening. Ooh, good layup. That's a foul, right? No foul. Man, I appreciate you swallowing that wrestle. The, the wrestle yeah, letting them play today. Oh, no, Nashani played that one. Nashani plays good defense, and that's why she stays on the floor so much. She did a good job of stopping and letting her 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 I, I say her man, but her woman uh go by her. What I the what? Hate- she tripped her. Well, but see, this is the problem. I hate these when we dribble and then pick up the ball. It's like, you know, you stop doing? picking up the ball off the dribble. Okay, we got a timeout, so we can go to some replays now. Yeah. yeah. And then on that play, you had two players that came up at the same time. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's faulty play design or it's just an error on the players. And I, I kind of want to lean on the second, the latter of the two, just because I, co- Coach has shown me. She she got – I like her right now. Like Again, I'm going to give – I'm a writer when she's wrong, but I'm going to give her credit when she's right. All right, it's a replay. Uh, let me see. This is on defense. So we watch a little bit of us playing some defense. Drive to the bucket, bad miss. We should have got the rebound. Should have. That was a travel. That was a easy yeah. call. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's us now. Here's Southern picking up in that full court press. Now, you notice about our press, A, we don't set a screen to get anybody open. So it's like one-on-one. Superette's got to be careful there. I think this is the drive where Superette's cuts through the lane. Whoop, into the lane, dips up and under, got him. That's a tough move by Superette. And unfortunately, because with the scoreboard is not current, yeah, last I had was 30 30. Let me double check. I got 35 32. Uh, the Rattlers are up. Yeah, the scoreboard on the screen is not moving with the actual game action. Another good half court defensive set. We good job there to stop mm-hmm. the drive. Yes, and That's I like cool. that aggression by, by our players. Get on the floor, loose ball. You got to win the 50 50 balls. Way to get down on the floor. I want before we go back to live, I think this next play is the uh, Evette three-pointer. So I want to show that here before we come back. Interesting formation for a press break right here. Southern's playing tough, playing tight. They're trying to. Drive, kick, Subrats for three. Got him. Oh, she missed the backdoor pass. We're back to live Ooh, action. open three. Live actions. We missed it. Right. Oh, she had a backdoor pass. My man. Make right. you want to make you salivate when you sit there looking like, man, if you were to pass that, that's a shot. All right. Ooh, that was an over the back foul. She, I we like just, it. I like it. I like it. We, we oh, your AD's it. wearing all red today. Okay. She's at the well, game. It's Founders Day. It's Founders Court Day. Court side. It's Founders Day. You know, she's, she's normally at all. She was at most of the basketball games that I've been to. So well, she, she, she said basketball is her favorite sport. I, I, okay. I'm next to. I believe I, that's what I recall. Uh, don't forget, her father was a a basketball player at at uh, Norfolk State. So and didn't she play at Virginia State? She played volleyball. Volleyball, played volleyball. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we've got a thirty six to thirty two game. We're up to see. This is uh, we're still in the third quarter here. Oh, that was horrible. That's a foul for sure, though. Like, you can't. You can't. Why are you crying? Like, she, the girl's dribbling. She literally cuts her off. Like, come on, man. Like, there's a. <laughs> Here, here's know. what I would. And, and the fact that we're going to the line now, that means we're in the bonus. Mm-hmm. So, here's. If I were Southern, right, watching this yes. game, I would back off of my aggressiveness a little bit. I really I would. I, I would agree. back. I would not yeah. be as. A, I tell my girls, stop reaching. Make. Fam, you do something great with the ball because I don't know if I've seen us do enough with. I don't know if I've seen us do enough great things with the ball that that uh, that if the other team is not being overly aggressive with us, 
that we can execute on our own. I'm not saying we want to give up open shots because a couple of those girls can knock down some shots, but we don't have to be as aggressive. I agree. I agree. And then, as you see, they're getting too aggressive on offense as well. That's got to be a foul. No, they're not going to call that. These refs are letting them play. The girl from Southern. And our leading leading scorers are uh, Subarets with 11, Delancey with 11, Grizzle with 8 for FAMU. So, your leading point getters – Three, right? We had to get three. We need three scores. That's the, that, and I think that's we. And as you mentioned with the rebounds, uh, Annabelle five, Superettes with four, and Delancey with three. So it's gonna be interesting to see. Uh, you know, we're approaching the end of the third and going into the fourth. Do we get a double double from one of the girls? Like, <laughs> I don't, well, I don't Ooh, she should have took that open shot. shot, and she missed it. Now Superettes, back up, slow down, slow down, slow down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. She got the foul. It was a cheap no. foul, though. If I'm the no. Southern player, I'm upset. And I didn't say, I'm, ooh. Is she going to get a tech? A technical. I think she got a technical. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. Because, but I was in that too. Reaction. That's a bad foul. Reaction. It was a bad foul because all she really had to do was wall up. She had to, yep. the, the terminology we use is just wall up. Two hands, straight line. And, and Subrats probably doesn't make that shot. But by, by the fact that you come down and swipe at her, yeah. So is that that old thing where people say like establish verticality? Exactly. Like we just put your hands straight up. Okay. Okay. Up in the air, don't come down. Don't move. Make them have to go around you and do whatever. So. And, and and I think if Fami wins this game, one of the things as you mentioned before, the free throw shooting is going to be a point to talk about. But this third yeah. quarter is going to be something you talk about because you know in the grand scheme, oh, she missed the first one. But in the grand scheme of the game, you start to look. Family's kind of built up a little lead. Southern's struggling right now. They're getting frustrated. Can you? Ah, oh, she missed both of them. Come on, cuz. Um, like, if she can make, if we can continue to extend the lead, all of a sudden, fourth quarter, look, they're scrambling. And they're already struggling. Yeah. I was about to make a good comment about free throws, but I feel like, what's your uh, boy with the uh, with the Dallas Cowboys field code? Grizzle, <laughs> Greg Grizzle Olson. Made- here. She she makes two. She makes two here. So she makes two. Uh, Super at missed both. Yeah, that that's come on. You can't do that. That's bad. I mean, well, uh, Yvette is having a bad day overall at the free throw line. She's one of six. I mean, yeah, come on. stop, stop go, sending her up there. You can't you can't go to the basket as often as she is and be one of six. Somebody she's come back to the ball. That. She's better than that. Oh, that was an etchy pass, sketchy pass. It should have been a bounce pass. See, she threw it to her. If you throw a bounce pass, your teammate can see the ball. You, you They have a half a second to go collect the ball off the bounce. But when you mm-hmm. throw them a chest pass, now I got to stop my momentum while I'm catching the ball. A lot of people have coordination itch- issues to be able to do that. Ooh, that's a nice block. Ooh, nice block. It's a foul, but it's a nice I like. I like our aggressiveness on defense. Like, not gonna lie to you, man. I see, coach, coach, pressure you. You won me over with this one. Like she's she's won me over already, but I keep seeing this. I'm gonna be all right. Uh, quick score look. Uh, Bethune is up 54-52 on Grambling with 21.7 seconds remaining in the third quarter. And currently, and BCU you- is first place in the conference. So. That's kind of some of the added weight as we kind of get into the wow. season going. That was that's, a foul. See, that's, a, that's a bad <laughs> foul. It is. And again, Southern's getting frustrated. And they're like, well, how are we losing to them? Dude, dude. Uh, simple. Every coach teaches this. You can't play behind the girl at the elbow or on the low block. You're either mm-hmm. on the side or you front them or you let them catch it. You should have that that's that young lady from Southern should have let um is that Nashani? I think she should have let Nashani just catch the ball. Cause what was Nashani gonna really do with it? Nothing. She was gonna turn and face and you're gonna defend. But now you guys are in the bonus. And see, that's another thing you don't understand as a player. You just sent them to go get two free points out of the bonus. And it's 41 34. And that big girl that's on three, she's got to watch it. She is. Them two uh, are kind of physical right there. And I, I hate to say the big girl, t- tall, um, so I'm, I'm not being, like, 
any type of whatever about that. She she's tall. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she's she's. Pro- I mean, you're you're talking about. Uh, I believe you're talking about 21. That's uh, Tiana Lodge or okay. Ridge. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I mean she she's a tall girl. She's a big girl. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. So you know, but you got to be careful these days. You know, modern yeah. generation stay big girls. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Like we're, we're, if we're canceling people for the same terminology that we say for men's games, then I mean, the world's the world coming to three point shot. <laughs> oh, the rats. oh, that's a bad miss. Uh, she's struggling. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, 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 that yeah, that's a foul. She kind of threw a little shoulder, like you know, <laughs> she threw Isaiah Major at her real quick. <laughs> we didn't have to, and we didn't have to. It was an unnecessary foul, yeah, unnecessary. This this ain't football. I mean, we might be having an open trial spot the way it's looking right now, but you you know you have to wait a few months for that baby girl. <laughs> oh man. What I will say, what I noticed in that transition defense is that the ball handler ran past Olivia. Oh my god, that can't happen. That's too that easy. That can't happen. That's too easy. That's the that's on Delancey. She didn't move. She's right there. You got to turn and move. Somebody come back to her too, because she's in a yeah, double. Exactly. Somebody's got to uh, come. That we got saved because the girl got crappy hands. Wait. Well, again, I thought the Southern player touched it. No, uh, because uh, our our players she she did a split. She slipped and did a split. She got hurt. Like my guy Tyrese Halliburton got hurt the other day. You know, slipping on the floor and doing a split. Um, but she didn't come back to the ball in the first place. You set the girl well, that, up. That, that's my that's my point. But see, she waited too long, and then Ariana just throws it away. It's like, what are we doing? That's the kind of turnovers that we, uh, Delan- Delancey. Oh, she got lucky. It was an off ball foul, right? I saw screen. I saw a couple of girls catch some shoulders in the in the in the chin over there. Well, yeah, that that's. Come to the ball back, Pat. There we go. Now, now don't leave her. Don't leave her. Come back. Somebody come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the middle. Oh no, you missed the wrong person. But that's all right. Catch the ball. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh no, 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 no. You know, I, 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 I tell you what's happening. What's happening is our girls are are moving too fast for themselves. Correct. They're, they're one step Ooh. ahead of what they should be doing. Ooh, that Brian, was that was a nice pick, though. Oh, that was a nice pick. <laughs> it was. It was. That should have been a jump ball. He he called jump ball. Yeah, I see double thumbs. Oh, that was a nice pick, man. She and she left a nice shoulder out there for her just to be like, mm. <laughs> well, yeah. See, uh, twenty four. She's got. She's got. She's got a. She's got a nice frame to set a screen. Um. And I'm, I'm trying to say, bravo, that you got, you bravo. Got you know, I'm trying, bravo. I'm trying to, you got me trying to find the right words to say these things. You, you suck. Um, <laughs> you got me, got me thinking about it now. Um, but no, when she set the screen, she did a good job of holding the screen. Yeah, nice Ain't firm screen. There. Woo. Yeah, oh, stay there. Oh my god! What the? Man. What are you doing? Come on, Superette. Gosh, put a little too much sofrito on that. What are you doing. Good. That's a little too much. That's what that's what we do sometimes. Passing Man, gets away from us. Oh, she's wide open. Mm-hmm. She gave up a decent shot. That's a that's a we that's a good that's that, a good contest. Yeah, we weren't gonna get that rebound because Nashani's on twenty one and twenty one's got about looks like four <laughs> three or four inches on her in height. Yeah, a good no. no foul. Is that the end of the quarter? Nope. Looks like we got about 53, 53 seconds. seconds. Yeah. So we got some time left. So for and the score is 41 to 36. Uh the scoreboard has not been updated. But if you're watching online, um, and you're watching the basketball live on Rattlers Plus, 41 36. And fam, you're still leading, surprisingly. Like we've seen this last about three, four minutes, really about three minutes. Offensively, fam has been, as Brian pointed out, we've been playing too fast. So it's kind of that. Hey, we got a lead, but we're not knowing what to do with our bodies right now. So just kind of that little bit of frustration there. But this is still a winnable game. Honestly, fam, you should have at least 45 points right now if we're, be, if we're being real. Yeah. 
Um, doing a quick scoreboard check around the SWAC women's games going on right now. Bethune is up by one, 54-53 over Grambling, 844 in the fourth quarter. Um, second question going on in Huntsville. Jackson State is up 21 to 11. Yeah, it's Molly Wapping. And Alabama State, uh, they lead Alcorn State 19 to 13. Coming up at four o'clock Eastern, you've got uh, Mississippi Valley State traveling to Prairie View AM and UAPB traveling to Texas Southern. Brian, you think that lady next to AD Sykes got, uh, got that hair from Steve? Boy, that's a lot, man. I tell you. <laughs> I got to be. I, I'm going to be. I don't know that woman. I don't know who that is. <laughs> yeah, I know. We got to stay with the jokes, man. We, we Oh, but goodness. That is, oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, look, she, she got she got that good Indian in her blood. I'm telling you something. <laughs> <laughs> you are hilarious. Now, oh, what's goodness. interesting is, this is a long time out. Now, uh, if you're watching the feed, obviously you see the officials are huddled. If not, what we have is the three officials huddled at uh, half court. Let me see if I can go to the audio. Yeah, from, it looks like uh, they're judging a penalty. From Melvin and Mr. Chester. Oh, that was a commercial. No, no, but... Commercial, yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, looks like here we got a def we got a clear definition of what's going on here. So they're bringing over they're bringing over both coaches to mid court. They already explained it to the broadcast crew, and we'll see what is going on here. Let me see if I can if you're you may want to listen here and kind of see what what they say happened. So at first, it looks like they said, "What was that?" You said the clock. Intentional technical foul to the face. Southern, that's saying grizzle to the free throw line. So, is a intentional foul or a technical foul? Probably some. Anytime you hit a player in the face, um, it's going to lead to technical. So, grizzle makes the first one. Yeah, and 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 we just said this on the last one. Like you pointed out, Super Rip was struggling. And it's like, man, put Grizzle in there. She she's she was making them. Dang, I spoke too soon. God, don't you jinxed it. Uh, man, I, I definitely uh, I I, I uh, Greg Olson it. <laughs> the uh, so the question EA is asking are the shot clocks working? I you know what not I haven't the, even looked at the shot clock, but I'll look here. I'm not, not on the sure. camera. Not on the feed. If you're oh. watching the live feed, ain't nothing working. It still says 30 30 with yeah. seven minutes and some change. Ooh, the shot clock in the game is working. Oh, that's a tough Oh, shot. she made it. Oh. I really like 24. Um, let me find her name. She she's I, I like I think her she's a senior. I think Pillow brought her in. Uh yeah, Lavator, uh, Middle Tennessee State. Yeah. She's yeah, from she, Spain too. I'm telling you, she she went international to get these girls. We're Can up we get, six. We got some more. I'm just saying, whatever. We never got that girl from Canada to come down. Well, that's a nice drive by Southern. It was. Nice it there. was. Southern coming up, picking up full court after the press. She so had yeah, somebody I, to the left. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't like. What the what? Two on one. Mm -mm, that was. Doing too much. That's not what she's. It's not what she's supposed to do. No, I can't get mad at her. Well, and, and plus, technically, in order to balance that and make that a true two-on-one, um, uh, was it Latori? Latori. Latori. She was supposed to get to the other side of the lane, but Delancey was so quick that run right up on her, she had no choice but to kind of stand there and really – so that's on Delancey. But, you know, look, we're – end of we the – uh, we're up 48, 44, 38. 44, 38. Let's, let's flip over. Let's look at team stats. Let's see what the team stats look like here. 
both teams, look at that. Both teams have shot 34 field goal attempts. We have made three less than Southern. Uh, but yeah. we're making it up at the free throw line where we've made 10. Look at the free throw numbers. 16 to 24. That's huge. We're almost, that's we have huge. three times as many free throws as them. That, that's that's impressive. Uh, we we haven't gotten that kind of disparity all season, um, mm -hmm. and we're we're not jacking up a lot of threes. I mean, four of ten is good. Um, that's good, yeah. You know, and uh, let's see the turnovers. What do we have at halftime? We had fifteen turnovers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've only committed five in the quarter, <laughs> and really there was one point where I think we only had committed one. I think the last two or three have come in the last two minutes of the game. Um, bench points, we're not going to really beat. We, we, our bench is not our strength. No. And then, honestly, points in the paint have been a lot, you know, a lot a lot harder to come by, 20 for 10. So, And then the fouls, man, that is where Southern is just eating it. Like, they got 24 fouls to 14. It's like, yeah. I mean, are we going to be in the bonus the whole fourth quarter? <laughs> oh, well, it resets. It resets in the fourth quarter back to zero. So first one to five. Once you hit five team fouls in the quarter, that's when it goes to shooting two. Second chance points. Uh, we were getting killed in this stat, I believe. Le oh, I'm sorry. That wasn't the, the, that wasn't the women. I think that was the men who were getting killed in that stat. Um, well, the men just got killed in general, but, you know. Yeah, the, the women, we actually tend to nothing on second chance points. Um, which Ooh, is which nice is really take. Cool. All right, so we're we're back to live action. Looks we're like. back live. The Southern player, nice take. She takes it in the paint. She gets a shot. I don't know why why twenty four doesn't just throw the ball at the girl from Southern when she lifts her leg up so you can get a kick ball. But oh come on, put that up twenty four, and give me a foul. No foul. Come no, on, man. No, no, there's no foul. It's too easy. <laughs> come on, now, stop it. I mean, she's not like she's gonna. I don't. Well, I don't know what her free throw numbers are like, but you know. Ooh, step back, Bobby Jack, and she missed it. Another rebound, number 30 there for FAMU. Okay, baby girl, let's go. Ooh, right. Ooh take that, take that. I mean, pass it. She had her open for three in the corner. She should have swung the ball to the corner. Oh, that three, that was uh, Ann Superlitz, A Superlitz. Yeah. Well, like, she had the ball, I'm sure. That, that. That ball's got to swing through. Who now? Who was that in the corner? That's when I couldn't see. Who that was, was Superettes number three in the corner. Sophomore Superettes, yeah, sophomore okay. Superettes. All right, maybe that's why they didn't know it. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, it's a it's a trust factor. You know, at this point, your upperclassmen, you know, they got to trust moves. their teammates. Yeah. Four point game, Southern tough shot. Ooh, contested shot. Made that with a hand in the face. I like the communication. Looks like we're doing a lot better. We're doing a lot better. Whoa, that was a kickball, wasn't it? How See, is that not a kickball? Yeah, because she dribbled it off her leg, not her foot. And then so don't. Why, but that's what I can see coach saying. Why would you turn and throw that? Right. Because her hands are on the hips. And then even then, when the ball went out of bounds, I thought it should have gone to fam. That could be my orange or green bias, but still. I mean, but those are change of direction moves. When we're making change of direction moves, you got to be careful about making change of direction moves in traffic. And we do a lot of change of direction moves in traffic. Woo, tied up 46 even. Southern's made a strong comeback, and we have just kind of screwed the pooch. Yeah, they, they woke up. They woke up. All right, the Jaguars awake. Got to pass the ball. Too much dribbling. Agreed. I need We're somebody looking. in the middle on that press break. Okay, I thought it was just me. And and then why didn't she even try to set a pick for the girl? Like, set a pick, roll. You got a whole play that. Oh, shucks. That's a moving screen. Oh, she got away with it, though. Oh, nice one by 24. Sets a strong one for three. Oh, oh, oh yes, sir. That's what I need. I'm a sucker for some competitive basketball. Oh, that's a nice move by Southern. I think they called that a two. Oh, that was a two? Dang it. Well, yep, let's I can review it. I see 48-44, so. Uh. The 
got a foul here against the FAMUs. Got a substitution for Southern. We're going to see because Southern's been making a push kind of late, especially attacking the basket. But they, they've been able to get some of these, you know, step back shots to fall from around the perimeter as well. So it's it's you can see where they're they're playing with a sense of urgency that I don't know if FAMU's playing at right now. And she missed the front end of that two and two. So one for two right now. It's going for a second shot. Hopefully she misses it. I'm not biased, but I am. Hey, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. And we did. pass it. Pass, thank you. Now somebody help her and move, somebody move the camera. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a foul on the Southern player? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and we're gonna get to that point of the game where, and Southern is deep. Go, go look at look on the left side of the split box there on the screen. How many girls have played for Southern? At least a, one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen girls. Have so th that's why they can be aggressive. That's why they are aggressive because they're using everybody, everybody who's got on a baby blue jersey uh is getting run it's columbia now you know you know bj gonna eat you up for that one <laughs> that's all right y'all y'all be your jaguar fans you be mad on you on columbia baby blue <laughs> hey oh. gilbert shot that like she was in the park i want her to reset yeah there we go reset the play give me something else oh give her a little cook oh no 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 that's no no yes 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 oh nice pass <laughs> And she shot the ball as it looked like, did it go in? She didn't think she was going to make that shot. <laughs> they counted the basket, though. Hey, I'll take it. I thought they counted the basket. No, I guess not. Oh, didn't count? She must have traveled or something. No, they called a charge. They called a charge on the ball handler, which that's a tough call. That's a good defensive uh, play. Just a tough call, though. 48-44. Man, look, I ain't gonna lie. These Southern girls can dribble. <laughs> yeah! I think we got a charging call on that one. Travel, travel, travel. Oh, travel, okay. I was like, wait. Well, no, you're right. It was a charge. I thought I okay. saw him signal travel, and then he changed it to uh Charge. To a char Got a timeout here too, so you know the team's gonna go to each side. I think it's a good timeout, Brian. Does it look like it looked like we're playing sort of a a three two matchup? It looks. I look. I, I you know more basketball than me, and you're from the basketball state, so. <laughs> <laughs> but it does look like the zone, and I like that the zone is moving. I like that it's, it's not stagnant, it's consistently moving, and it seems to try to address the issues that come up with each play. Well, and it should. It should. The, the, we hadn't always had that, my man. <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember those uh those 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 down years. I you know what? My memory is like an elephant. I I, I don't have I don't remember that stuff. You know, I don't remember losing. Crystal, Crystal, Crystal. No, that's the I'm just saying. Oh, that's the Lancey. Okay. You say Grizzle was open, or are you just saying the shot at him? The shot at him. I thought that was Grizzle. I was like, woof. That's what the, the what? The, the, Look, the, I like 24. Does she got a COVID year? <laughs> can, can we get her one more year? I like her. Now Grizzle has it. There we go. Look for, looking for Delancey oh. wide open. Oh, that's a knockdown. That's a knockdown shot. Yeah, she knew it. She left early. Why did so she stop dribbling in the key, though? At the end, like, her foot was still in. I like this. Can we eat up a little clock on this play, though? Because you got a 24-second clock. You got – you're running – you know, they're running against the clock at this point to a certain degree. I don't like us jacking up these blessed threes. So that, that's – that grinds my gears. I, when she shoots that shot, I'm just like – why? But that's what she does. It's fifty-two to forty-six right now, according to the scoreboard. Okay, um, the catch up on the video. They fixed the clock and score issue on the video. Appreciate it, Josh. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, ooh. She took it straight to the hole like, like a like a like a like a woman. The, the Lancey is she. she is, you take the good and you take the bad. You know, what was that? The Facts of Life song? That's yes, yes. Life. The Lancey, that's my new nickname for her, Facts of Life. You take the good, you take the bad. Call it Tootie, baby. Call it Tootie. Yeah, call, call it Tootie, it, bro. Yeah, I don't know what I'm about to call her, but the Lancey should give you should give you good, should give you some bad, but that's the Facts of Life. That's the Facts of Heaven, Olivia DeLancey, and uh, she delivers. I'm telling you what, the girl, the girl is tough, man. Uh, Tootie's all right with me, bro. Yeah, she is. <laughs> She is she is fun <laughs> to watch, man. I tell you what. Oh my goodness. If you over a certain age, every black person is like, yep, I know who Tootie is. <laughs> right. so is the leading see. scorer right now with 15 points, followed by yeah. Grizzle with 13 and Super S with 13. Man, Delancey's also second in rebounds, bro. But but look at that field goal. Look at those field goals. Five of 14. I told you, I told you the good and the bad. The good and the bad. The good and the bad. That five of 14 is like, oof. Yeah. Um, over on the southern side, they got uh, let's see, Genovia Johnson or Genovia Johnson with 12. Um, and Anaya Gordin, yeah, with eight, but they've got um, see what what amazes me, and I'll tell you the young lady that I feel like, and I and this happened to her in the other game, uh, Periana Sylvester. She could be such a big help to this team, but man, does she get in foul trouble a lot. She got in foul trouble. I watched a replay of the game against Bethune the other day. You know, she picked up a foul in the first three seconds of the contest. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm literally, I'm, bro, I'm watching it and I'm like, off the tip, she ends up fouling the girl. The girl made a move and she got caught flat footed. Foul. I'm just like, oh my God, three seconds in and there's a foul. I'm like, but, you know, she committed. Let me see. Sylvester had. She had four fouls against Bethune, but she was one of the few players that was plus five when she's on the floor. That's who we need to really be that sort of X factor second guard. But you can't you can't have her out there for long because she gets in foul trouble a lot. This is the second she has four fouls in today's game. Obviously, so and this that's the best I've seen us go against the press probably all game. Like I, I I'm I'm tempted to text Gerald and be like, hey, well, <laughs> can you ask her about that defense a little bit? <laughs> don't, don't be so quick because you look at the turnovers and you oh, say, and, and then we get a turnover. Oh she just took the ball from her. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Like you didn't want that. Well. No, she did. It was a bad spot. She was dribbling right, and the and the the guard, their teammate in the corner, never moved. So her defender just stood there and just swiped it from her. I mean, she literally dribbled right into her. I mean, that was an easy steal. Probably the she easiest got to travel. steal. Gosh, she definitely traveled, but we got away with it. Yeah. Hey, good to see you. I got my girl Keisha Kelly checking in. Keisha, Black College Experience checking in. A Jaguar fan in true nature, one of the uh, biggest Jaguar fans I, I know. There's a lot of Jaguar fans I know, but I love the way she represents Southern. And uh, so appreciate you jumping in. Um, I don't know if you're watching the video, so if you're if you're jumping in with us, obviously we're just doing some some uh, commentary, the live stat. Of course, the the game is uh, on Rattlers Plus, which is uh, the FAMU pay per view channel. Uh, we we show replays here. Let me see if I can go back and show that replay of that turnover. And six ninety nine is the price if you're doing it on Rattlers Plus. But you know we we we, we try not. To, we don't want to undercut our university. <laughs> well said. I do need the replay button to be a little bit better. That that's what I need to figure out here. I'm like I need my replay. I need to be able to rewind a little bit better than I can right now. It, it, it is what it is, Brian. Shout out to Gerald, though. I know we mentioned you, but if you're watching, shout out. Evidently, your mom is one of those members of Delta Sigma Theta. So, you know, um, well, congratulations there. Happy happy Father's Day. Also, exactly. my cousins. I got some cousins that yeah, are exactly. I got a cousins, too. Yeah, my cousin Carla. She's Orlando uh, Delta Sigma Theta. Her and cousin Nicole. 
All right, let me see if I can go to replay. How much time do I got before they come back here? Let me see. Do I got enough time? Uh, you got about, about 10 seconds. You got enough time. Uh, they're they're, they're okay. on a squirreling around. All right, here. We'll, we'll show the replay. This is replay. FAMU leading at this point, 52 to 48. Inbounding after a... I think we'll come up here. Okay. You'll see Nishani on the right side. Here she goes. Goes right. Watch the watch the defender in the corner. Pay attention in the top right corner. The defender. This is going to be an easy pick. Thank you. I mean, that, it couldn't be any easier than that. <laughs> Super not easier. Nope. Than that. Grizzle just missed the three, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Back to live action is what you're talking. Fifty-two me. to fifty. Just missed a three-pointer. Two minutes and 32 seconds left in the game. And it's just, uh, you're like, it's one of those games where you, you feel it. You feel it. Hitman is saying doesn't think the video's working on the app. Uh, I don't know if it's working on the phone app. I can double check. I, I got the phone right here. so. Um, but it, it's working on my computer. So if you have... The app, but you also have a laptop. You can use the same login to get into either one. We didn't get an over the back foul. No, on us or them? On them, on them, on them. Let me see. Uh, Fifty-two to fifty lead for FAMU. Uh, that's a tough call. She she jumped into her. Sorry about that. Pulled it up on the phone. Let's see. Um, I got the ad going, so I don't know if it's going to work or not. Yes, if you are watching on the app, it does work. Just have to move the screen with your finger, like the uh, timer with your finger, because it actually starts you at the beginning of the game. So 52 51, second shot. She missed it. Oh, and the ball just got stolen from 24 because she's not exactly a ball handler. Mm -mm -mm. One point ball. <clears throat> Man, FAMU has been in so many of these games. We have to find this team has to find a way to, to win this ball game, uh, Keith. Here we are. I mean, we. We are, let me see, how much time is actually One left? minute, 52 seconds Total away. Under two minutes, under two minutes. So we're starting to see where execution's coming through. Nice play design by Southern. Uh, I'm waiting to see if somebody's going to come off a pick to receive mm -hmm. the ball. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, that's not a foul. I know that's no. not a foul. No, no. Jump ball? I mean, possession arrow? I think so, yes. And I think possession arrow goes to FAMU, the way the girls are um, moving. You yeah. might be right. Yes, it is. Possession arrow and FAMU has a timeout. So one minute, 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. FAMU calls their fourth timeout. All right, let's look at the foul situation here because the next foul by either team sends the opponent to the free throw line. So that's where we are. In this now, one of the interesting rules that I love about college basketball is the advancement of the ball to half court. So, and and honestly, I will admit I don't know how many of those you get, um, but I know at some point you can you can call a timeout and advance the ball to uh, to half court. So and we're I'm at four four penalties apiece right now, Brian. So. Uh, according to the uh, the website, when you go into the uh, team stats and you click on fourth quarter, it it breaks it down to you for the quarter. All right, spoiler alert! Big play coming up. 
Middle. Put somebody in the middle. Nice pass. Ooh, Ooh that was a nice pivot. Ooh. Ooh, yes. Let's go. Three point game. I love the fact that we went for two. I, I'm, I'm very. I'm not a big proponent of when the game is one a one point lead for you to take a three. I, I like smart shots when you can. I need. Uh, I need what you call a thirteen to avoid that penalty though. Like All right, let's she was about can. to get a penalty. I'm gonna see if I can show that here coming up that play. And they're bringing the girls back. Looks like for something. Are they really? No, no, they're good. They're good. They're good. Okay, okay, let me see. But yeah, I thought um, I thought third Super S thirteen Super S the senior was about to get a penalty just for being overly aggressive. Uh, she's a solid player, but Yvette's got to be careful there because you could definitely see where there was a lot of jostling with their bodies. Oh, come on, can I get the replay here in the right spot? And they're about to come out of the timeout in a, in a moment. And we're, you know, you got. I wanted to show the play coming out of the timeout. Yeah, yeah. It was a good play. I can't get the doggone thing to advance enough. Yeah, mine kind of st mine started freezing a little bit there, a little bit, I think. Ah, yeah, okay. Don't worry about it. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, 54 51. Southern has the ball. A drive into lane, a blocking foul called against. Yeah, she never set her feet. That's a good call. Uh, a blocking foul called against Nashani. So that's going to send Southern to the line. Uh, as you can see, if you're looking at the uh, stats on the screen, they make the first one. About a minute and four seconds left in the game, too. So here's an interesting strategy that people will often say, 30 second, do you run clock? Uh, it'll be interesting to see how much pressure Southern puts on FAM. We're very turnover prone. But will, will FAM you try to run some action? That's a good box out. I don't try to. I don't. I, I let FAM you uh, mess themselves up if I'm Southern. Uh, that's I exactly what I was going to say, but. Oh, good God. Delancey, good Lord. Did you see the shot? Ooh, that's a, that's a foul. What the ref? My man. Hold on. I got to go back and show this. Jesus. That middle linebacker took her out. That was a foul. And that's a payback foul because he was like, yeah, that girl got knocked the bleep out. Like, what the Thomas Hill are you doing? She got knocked the heck out. My man. Like, shoot, Musa didn't get hit like that sometimes. Good Lord. Okay, something just happened because I see we're up. I can't, I can't. Let's see, that's 150. I think, she, did she come off the court? No, she's still on the court. Somebody at the free throw line. Uh, it's Subarets. Subarets at the free throw line. But, man, that Delancey got wiped out. Grizzle should have been taking this shot instead of Subarets. Well, but she made both of them. She though. made it. Man, she made it. He'd been critical about she was one of six going to the line, and what happens? She goes to the line, he makes two. I told you the okay. girl was better than what she was. She was better than one for six. I knew that. Okay. She got two. I'm sorry for doubting her. Exactly. I agree with you, EA. Put the pressure on the refs, the call fouls. Everything goes to the rim. At this point, mm -hmm. with uh, how much time is left? Let's look. Um, 55. 55 seconds. Everything has to – if I see somebody shooting a three, this is where I say if you shoot a three, just expect to be running stadiums after the men's game. I'm, that's what I'm telling them. I'm literally saying you are running stadiums, like a 100 of them, if you shoot a three. I don't care how wide open you are. No threes. You All we want is in the – we want layups or shots in the paint area. I'll take a little jump shot in the paint. If the shot clock, you know, requires it, but we got to drive the ball towards the paint. No, nobody can shoot around the perimeter. Nobody, unacceptable for anybody to do that. I agree. All 
All right, coming out of the timeout here, 55 seconds. <laughs> you like that, right, EA? Hey, we running them stadiums, boy. That's brutal. <laughs> I I got to tell a story. I had, boy, I'll tell a story later when it's appropriate, but <laughs> my team had to do a lot of running the other day in practice, unnecessarily, but, it, you know, it's on them. <laughs> All because they didn't want to make time on a sprint. Ooh. And, they ended up doing a lot of them because they didn't want to make time. So, all right, good inbound play by Southern here. Down by two possessions. Oh, that was a nice. Ooh, good hands by Grizzle to come over at the last second and deflect that ball because that should have been an easy bucket. Now we have to watch for Southern to try to throw a lob because we are, they are bigger than us. Oh, yeah. Keep them out of the paint. I'm telling you, Grizzle's going to be up for SWAC player of the year, like one of them, if she keeps this up. She is, um, she's a baller. And it's not trying to be biased, but you look at her stats and she's solid. 35 seconds left on the clock. Two great plays by Grizzle defensively to force the ball out of bounds. That's what that's what ballers do. Yep. Oh, well, wait a minute. They must have called a foul because she's at the free throw line now. And it's a four-point game, three-point so, game now. So she's well, going to make one foul of those. Apparently on Subarets and Chloe Fleming is at the free throw line. Made the first, misses the second, or other way around maybe. Ah, uh, 56 to 53. Oof. Yeah. So let's see what's going on around the SWAC. Grambling's up one with 5.8 seconds right now. Ooh. The Grambling, the, the team that beat the uh, Bible school students. <laughs> Come on, yard talk. That's your team, baby. <laughs> oh, she's gonna be she's gonna be uh unencouraged. On cloud nine. Yeah, yeah, it's not gonna be able to tell her nothing. <laughs> well, and, and you know, and, and I'll be honest, that's why I said, you know, what I said about there being the top four, but honestly, outside of the top four, really Grambling <laughs> and Alabama AM, you know, Liv Liv thinks highly of Alabama AM. So really, she thinks that. The top six are really almost evenly matched. And so when you get these contests like a Grambling versus Bethune or Jackson versus Alabama A&M, you know, those are the games where the conference decisions and who's in the standings will get made. And can this team sneak in? I mean, at this point, that's kind of all you really want. I, I, I want them to sneak in. I think they can sneak in it. This goes a long way. If we sneak and we can get it, we can get an eight seed with games like this. Grizzles at the free throw line. Got a chance to to sink two. It looks like she's going to do that with 21 seconds left. This is huge. This is huge, man. Rattler Nation. I, I hope y'all, I hope there's a good crowd there. It looks like we got some 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 good. I know those students that you mentioned showed up, but man, this is a big win. Up. Well, did I, just, I hope I don't jinx that. Five, up five. Woo, Grizzle. Five, no good. Rebound by Grizzle. Dribble it out. That's going to be ball game. That's going to be ball. Ooh, ooh, let's get it in. Foul. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Coach Pillow. Look, I mean, uh, Coach uh, Coach Gordon. There you go. Coach Pressure putting, applying a little pressure. So that's what I'm First say. conference Great. home game. Hey, first conference home game, first conference win. That's huge. Got a big W for West Side Diddy over there. We see you, Josh. One we'll thing, I, I I think we 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 uh we sleep on Victor Duncan still doing a thing over there though. Like, what's Victor Duncan doing? He, you know, he does the PA. He got the little rattler. He got the you know. He, does, he do, does he do all of it? I thought. Uh... I don't think he Victor does. did all of it. He does uh, all of it, really? He does the PA for the uh, basketball. Okay. Yeah. 
You used to be Victor Duncan, your man in the morning. <laughs> That's going to be the ball game. FAMU is going to knock off Southern, the SWAC champions from last year. That's big. That's big. I just heard Melvin Bill say this is the biggest victory in the last six years. I don't know about <laughs> the last six years, but I'll tell you, for a program that, uh, you know, one and eleven, one and eleven, bro, had rebuilding. lost seven teams in a row. A team that's rebuilding. <laughs> yeah, the word is rebuilding, Brian. We <laughs> a team that's rebuilding. Yes, that's a huge win. That this is. I hope they they give us a little video in the locker room and they, the girls get a little celebration, I, but. Eventually, you don't want these games to be celebrated. You want this to be expected. This, you, you want to go to the get to the place where this team is expecting to win these games and can win games out of conference too. Uh, and wow. Southern, Southern, Southern didn't only beat HBCUs. Southern. They did beat Louisiana Christian University, who were they, but they beat the University of Oklahoma in Oklahoma. So this is a team who's got some wins outside of the HBCU sphere. You know, so you're not saying, well, they only beat HBCUs. No, they beat a P4 because, you know, there, there's really no P5 anymore. Look at, look at you, a P4. That's a new that's a new terminal. And it looks like Grambling takes out Bethune-Cookman. So Grambling gets a 63-62 win uh, over Bethune-Cookman. Wow. So the top seed in the SWAC goes down. Hey, that but that's gonna be that's gonna be what the SWAC went. Look, the SWAC women uh is just gonna be up and down all year. You know, you're gonna have this, you're gonna have this. Grambling, you know, they improved to two and one. Southern drops to two and one. Bethune suffers their first loss. AMU gets their first win. Jackson State, UAPB are still unbeaten, but you know. Right now, if I'm doing a scoreboard check, Jackson State is up 32-22 right now. Um, UAPB which, plays yeah. later. Which I'm not going to lie. I thought Jackson was about to run away with that one. Right, right. Rattlers. Rattlers. <laughs> Rattlers. Shout you, out you can play to that one and not get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Ashley Weber, where's the game? I, I don't know what you mean, Ashley. Where's the game? The game is in Tallahassee. Tallahassee at the Al Lawson Center. Al, Al Lawson Center, Ashley. Al Lawson Center at FAMU. First home conference game of the season. The FAMU Lady Rattlers uh, get a 59-53 to win over Southern University, the, uh, the uh, SWAC champions, tournament champions from a year ago. Um, <laughs> the Rattlers schooled the Jags like UNCF. Well said, Kylan. Well said. <laughs> Well All right, here, let's go. Some of the individual statistics. Uh, the game high leading scorer was Olivia Delancey with uh, 18 points on 6 of 16 shooting from the field, 1 of 4 at the three-point line, 5 of 8 from the free throw line, had 8 rebounds as well. Played all uh, – nope, I can't say all because there's – 40, 40 minutes in a game. So it, it, I, I'm looking at high school. I'm thinking like high school. No, she played 32 <laughs> minutes, which is good. Um, then you had uh, Ariana Grizzle with 15 points on three of seven from the field. She was nine of 10 at the free throw line. That was huge, huge. Uh, Yvette Subarets, four of nine from the four of eight from the field and 13 points, two of four from the arc. Three of eight from the free throw line, five rebounds, made two very big um, free throws late in the ball game. And uh, let's see, after her, uh, looks like you had Nashani Gilbert with five, Annabelle Latori with four, Periona Sylvester with two, and. Ina Subarets with two as well. Over for Southern, they were led by Genovia 
for Genovia Johnson, excuse me, Genovia Johnson uh, with 15 points. Um, and the next closest person who had eight was Anaya Gordine, who had And this eight. is this is FAMU's first home win. Our last, the last women's team, last team that FAMU women's team beat at home was Southern last year. So. Really? Yeah. Uh, so this, this is, uh, so Ashley, this is the, the women started at two Eastern. The men start, I think they run, I think they started the clock probably about, uh, looks like I would say the men will probably start about four, 440, maybe 435. Because I think they put 30 minutes in between each game. So if I saw the clock right. Uh, yeah, right now there's 26 minutes. So the clock is running. So there's 26 minutes before the men's game. Uh, any other uh, and key stats? Key stats. Okay. Amazing that we won a ball game, Keith, committing 26. That's right. 26 turnovers. 26 turnovers. I think the free throw disparity. If I'm a Southern fan, I'm looking at that free throw disparity, and I'm, I'm very frustrated if, I, if I'm if i not watching the game. If I watch the game, though, I'm extremely upset with our discipline because some of those penalties were stupid. Yeah, that, that look, the even number of shot attempts, you could see them there in the game stats. Uh, this was the key to the game. 21 of 30 versus 9 of 6. At the free throw line, we, we had nearly twice as many rebounds as Southern, 42 to 22. And again, we aren't the bigger team. We're not supposed to be doing what we did, 42 to 22. That's not, no. no. Uh, yeah, Kylan said, didn't you just say that we beat Southern last year? Yes, yes, we did. It was February uh, 27th on a Monday night, 57 to 50. Uh, Greek was night. The, was that the last home win? For the ladies? That was that was the last home home conference win for the ladies. Wow, wow! Yeah. Thank and you. And it Southern. might have been their last home win because what's we won? No, we beat Ju at home this year. Yeah. So, but last home conference win last year against Southern. So, got a little streak at the Lawson Center. You know, you from you from Baton Rouge. You don't just come up in the Lawson Center and get a W. No, those days are gone. Those days are officially gone. I'm I'm saying I'm speaking it into an existence. And I'm saying it, those days of rolling up in the Lawson Center and just getting a dub uh, are done, ladies. So serve swack. And, yes, I agree with Kylan. Uh, Y'all got to – once Delancey figures out what a good shot and a bad shot is and when to take those <laughs> shots, y'all going to be in trouble because when her efficiency goes up, she will be a future swack player of the year. She definitely will. Definitely is she the will. replacement for Grizzle? Oh, for sure. She becomes the number one. I, but there are going to be some other girls that that coach is going to bring in to help. But, yeah, she she's going to be that number one. Hey, let's go to uh, – we've got our post-game report from our man on the street. None other than Mr. Kelvin. Hey, What's going on, man? How you doing, man? And I'm feeling like a champion again. <laughs> hey, it's a long week. It's good to get a win. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm to get a win. Okay, man. Yeah, you know, with everything that's going on, I feel, I feel really good for the coaches. You know, they play really the hard again. It's a lot of fun games. It's a lot of fun games. It's a lot of fun games. This was just a nice, pretty win. There were a couple of things that I thought that first game was really smart. One of those things were, uh, we know we don't have two point bars. So we can't, we don't want to wear a group out. We don't have to bring the ball to be a tour also. So I thought it was a nice adjustment. We were great, basically having the stars bring up the ball like he did. You know, yeah. Uh, Uber bring it up strong. You had, uh, uh, Janette bring it up strong. You had Grizzle bring it up strong. And uh, I just think that was pretty effective for us. You know, for this game, what stood out though, of course, he won. Rebounded overwhelmingly. 
and rewind the uh, free throw line is overwhelming. And that, and that kind of helped us to pull this one out. What's the, uh, what's the crowd and the atmosphere like? Well, a girls game on Saturday at 2 o'clock is, is better than I've seen it in a while. To be honest, pretty decent crowd. I would estimate maybe you know, 1,200 or so. so for the girls game, not bad. Um, and band, band is out here. I don't know why. Uh, I haven't seen him at a game in the so I don't know what's going on with that. But the crowd is good, and it's pretty good. Yeah. So, so, Cuz, what, what was the, uh, what do you think was the, like, game-breaking, or what, what broke Southern and allowed family to win this game? Yeah. I think a couple of things. Southern shot, you know, I think above 45 percent, close to 50 percent from the field. So it wasn't that they, they didn't shoot bad, but I think we limited the offensive position, and um, our turnover was pretty high, but it was mostly in the first and second quarter. So we did a bit better job in the second half to cut down our turnover. I think those two things. Uh, probably help us the most outside of the game. Winning the rebound and overwhelmingly, again, limited their position, but then they give us more than, than um, for the winning the free throw battle. <laughs> Be a more a head coach with the board of trustees on Yes, sir. And uh, we, I think we all fully expect four, that. Four, 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 four football. And I would say there's a stipend on this boat at this moment in the field. And, and, and I, I believe, uh, you know, it's supposed to get a little cozy on the hill, you know, just saying. So, so, you know, we'll be uh, talking about that uh, next week in detail. All right, go down here. Go down to the podium. We can't let you get down there. Uh, first game, uh, first game All right, man. Uh, I'll follow with y'all, guys, and I'll check that game with y'all. I got time on the men's game. All right. Yes, all right, y'all over the down, guys. Yep. We should have got right. his pregame yeah. prediction, prediction there. And yeah. so uh, <laughs> I, um, I, and I, I, I'm wondering, uh, because there was, I do know some of the uh, boosters were supposed to have a meeting on with some people on a Zoom, via Zoom uh, earlier this week after everything came out. So I don't know if that meeting was with a certain person whose Founders Day is today or not, but we all know, you know, until a certain thing is, uh, you know, certain people are met with, the purse strings are supposed to be closed. So, um, well, look, um, according to Vaughn uh, Wilson, and Vaughn had already reported this and said that the players met with AD Sykes, the players met with. President Robinson, and all of this is even in the uh, Tallahassee Democrat article. Um, I think Jim Henry, or uh, I don't know if Gerald even wrote it. I think it was somebody else, um, but maybe Gerald wrote it. I don't know. But um, in talking to Vaughn, I, I, that's why I kind of, even though hearing the 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 rumors that you know, Co- <laughs> Cozy is going to get his opportunity. Uh, 
the players were still being sold about uh, the other guy, uh, oh. Gibbs. And so I don't know. Like I said, that's why I say I, I don't don't sit back. I, I will say this here in this public in this forum. I've been tweeting it all and I'll tweet it as often as I can. You got to send an email or send something. If every Rattler who cares sends uh, several emails to the board of trustees, letting them know that you want to see this thing continue on through with Cozy leading this charge. Um, we, 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 we stay, who knows? It, it's, 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 it could happen, you know? Yeah. Um, and I will say this for people, I know a lot of people were like, you know, they want Billy roll. Uh, I found out it didn't know that Cozy and Billy roll are, are, are friends, you know? And, and, and that's, I don't know. I can't confirm that, but, um, yeah, that looks like I said, the street committee is the street committee is, is is saying you know like I said uh, <laughs> you know that's about as much oh oh it, 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 like I said the street committee says that the hill is going to be a little cozy but uh, <laughs> gonna be a little cool on the hill uh, if you want to read between the lines but um, yeah like I I think one of the things though is just if if you keep him. Do you bring Billy Roll back? Does Billy Roll come back in July? Like, how do you do that? Like, how do you navigate that? Yes, Billy and, Roll. I mean, apparently the relationship is good with him and Billy Roll. So if he comes, Billy Roll would come back, I believe. I mean, I'm, I'm guesstimating, but I'm I'm told yeah. that there, there is a close relationship and that, you know, I think if he calls Billy Roll, look, hey, if, if EA, you know, EA is part of the street committee, I don't know, but if EA says it, that, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Look, oh. Smitty Rock is going to Mercer. Now, I'm curious, EA, is that going to Mercer as the head coach? Because I know I know that is, is what's available now. Um, you know, because the former head coach at Mercer, he left to go to Navy. I saw that. So, you know, maybe Billy Roll comes in as the D.C. Or maybe Milton Patterson moves up to the D.C. You know, Colsey has a, a role. Has, maybe Roll comes in as sort of an assistant or associate, excuse me, an associate head coach position, you know, possible. What happens to Joe Henry? Uh, does Joe Henry stay on as OC? And we know he didn't do much play calling, but maybe this is his opportunity. I don't know. Yeah. So uh, I, I think, and that's kind of where, you know, where, where you're leading to. And I think one of the things with Billy Roll with head coaching is some of its age. Uh, Cozy is younger. Cozy does have the head coaching experience at a college, even though it's a Canadian college still. But can him and Billy Roll come together and then you use some of those ties? Like, I know I just recklessly threw it out there. Like, yo, we do realize, like, like, like I said, Teddy Bridgewater is retiring. Wouldn't it be pretty cool to have him as a, at least a quarterback coach? Like, I mean, because in the past couple of years, he's been down there and he's been coaching and playing in the NFL and then coaching at like Miami Northwestern on Friday night. So you're talking about a dude that's been kind of like one foot in the NFL and one foot in the coaching already getting that opportunity to go from the pros to coaching, but he kind of gets that, Hey, you're not coming as a head, but you can come in as a position coach or an OC. And you know, then what happens to your guys like Pat Watkins, like Pat Watkins is on the staff there. At, does he become the secondaries coach as people continue to move up? So it's kind of like what happens with that trajectory of what's going on there. So, um, but I don't know about Smitty Rock, but I, like I said, the street committee has told me stuff too. So I'm hoping they're wrong because <laughs> I uh, I like Coach Smith. Yeah, yeah, no, me too, me too. Um, and uh, I right. think I think in seeing that this season, though, go back and watch that second half of the Celebration Bowl. That is the most aggressive I think this defense has looked like. I have not seen corners jump routes like that. I mean, go back and watch. That secondary was playing aggressive. And it was kind of like, I'm going to let the reins off and just let y'all boys play. And it, it came with a different kind of energy. And you're bringing a lot of those guys back. Uh, that's going to be interesting. And how many guys can we retain from this recruiting class? Um. Yeah, well, you know, didn't didn't um uh I'm looking out here and say I think Bridgewater wants to coach at Miami. Um yeah. 
He, he probably wants to. Just look, if I if I if I got but if I got his former coach on there, hey, I, I throw it out there. You know, the worst yeah, he can I say is no. Yep. <laughs> and then, but we did lose a few recruits. We lost a receiver, um, JUCO guy. I think he's a guy transferred from Oklahoma, but yeah. Um, and we lost a few more guys, but we also got a guy to come in. I believe that guy from UNLV is uh he committed to FAMU, so um, it's still looking pretty solid. I mean, you, you lost some of those. I think all the guys from Florida State, so. Really? Okay. Well, I mean, look, I, I I think there's so many spots that are that are open. I mean, I think the commitment levels are still there. Um I'm I'm really it's funny. I'm not I'm 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 at, I'm at peace right now. I, I don't really I think I saw some who was it hit me and just said I'm so over and I I am too. I'm exhausted with it. It is, um, it is exhausting thinking about it. Um, and you know, I, at some point, yo, I, I kind of wondered and I said to myself, you know, how emotional, you know, are we, are we being really, are we being too emotional, um, about this and, and, and sometimes I like to make decisions void of emotion. Mm-hmm. So how I respond, how I react, but I keep coming back to, and again, if we hadn't won a national championship, if we hadn't had such a strong run in the SWAT the last three years, I might feel differently about all this. You know, you really might. But but I really think what kind of drives a lot of people's engine in this whole thing is that, man, you know, we're supposed to keep ascending up. Mm -hmm. You know, we got two FBS teams coming up on the schedule. One of them we should maybe be able to beat in Troy. We should really give them a good run for their money um, with a chance to beat them. Because Troy lost some players. I mean, and local kids. Like, they lost a defensive lineman, I think, from Godby um, that, you know, Going to NFL, NFL caliber kid, like Tallahassee kid too. <laughs> right, right. So now, and I, I think the other thing, Brian, is just some of it's also just the the the, the failed coup d'état. Like <laughs> we we tried to overthrow the AD, <laughs> and some of the facts wasn't facts. <laughs> it was like, don't say that, don't say that. That's not true. That's not true. It's like. Yeah, you already said it. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I heard I heard you say that. And I, I think at the end of the day, some of the stuff that some of the stuff I think that speaks to the vote of no confidence are legitimate. Some of them you can hold out. You can hold out of there. I mean, I know you pointed out certain things on your show where you talked about uh um uh, uh, OBC, OBC, and 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 really, I, the, my pushback to the OBC thing is, is is she scheduled that game with South Carolina State really before? It, it, well, if you look at the timeline on when that email came from, uh, from when that email came from from the OBC. It was before the agreement with South Carolina State and the former AD Campbell. Mm. So if you want to say some kind of thing about it, you could you could stand on the OBC thing. It, it's, it's a very thin line, I know. But you could say the timeline of what the offer was versus you wanting to go out and bring in a, a home game. Yeah, you could have, that's you could double trip to Miami. You could have negotiated more, but but then again, you got two games. You got to, and then according to the whole, Miami has an extra thing that that they that they need to get rid of. Like they have an extra game. Uh, you could have maybe negotiated something if you really still you know, could. You, you, <laughs> yeah. Still could. I mean, we just saw what is it? Uh, was it Tennessee State got bought out by um somebody that they beat for for a game like. Was that uh, Kennesaw State bought Tennessee State out this year? Did they really? 
I think they did after they got after Tennessee State beat them. They're like, nah, y'all Negroes can have that. We ain't taking no more L's. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know if we're in a position to buy anybody out. We need every dollar. That yeah. we no, no, no. Tennessee State got bought out by Kennesaw. Oh, okay. So, okay. Well, so it would be yeah. one of those to me. Miami, if you were say, stay, hey, Miami. Yeah, you want to you want to buy us out? We'll we'll take a right. We'll take a full. we'll take a pay cut. Yeah, on our end, full amount of funds, but we'll take some. Yeah. Hello. Take a pay cut, and then you get the OVC. So you get you getting you getting paid twice. Just saying, you know. <laughs> I I just think you're you're so when you're so new to the to the environment and the culture. I I think you you really need to you really need to slow down a little bit. And I think jumping away from the OVC was 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 horrible. Um, I don't think you, I know a lot of people, when you start looking at strikes, you know, for some people that was a strike one for other people, a strike one was raising invested in champions package, you know, without, again, without consulting people, <laughs> you know, doing yeah. certain, you know what, you know what, Keith, there is something called market research. Market or making research. It, making it better. Like you gave me the same old stuff. Like, like you know, if I were if I were new coming in, right, and you know I had this season, I somebody's telling me about this investing in champions. I'm like, well, what is it? And then I'm looking at the pricing, and I'm saying, oh, well, I said, well, what's the reception? What if we raise the prices on it? And then all of a sudden, people are like, oh, I don't know if you want to raise prices. Uh, and then you're saying, why not? Well, X, Y, and Z. I said, well, okay, let's find out what the people really think. So you do you do a survey, you put a survey, you go to that same 220 club and you say, hey, folks, we need you to digitally get online and fill out a survey. You send an email out to all your 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 supporters. Maybe you post something and say, you know, are you an investing in champions? What would make you an investing in champions? And then if you say that you are, I mean, they, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you could create within a week a good survey that'll tell you everything you need to analyze and say, should I do it this year or should I sit back and wait on it? So I now maybe that happened. Yeah. I mean, it could have, I, look, I didn't see it, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, okay. See if you, you know, but I wasn't well, a booster. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have paid booster at the time. So, you know, I, again, like I, <laughs> is, is, any of you guys, uh, EA or anybody who's listening, any of you guys invested in champions, Members, did you get any kind of survey ask you about your package and, and the package and whether uh, it, it, it was going to be different? I don't think you so. Know, I, well, I, my parents are investing in champions, so that's why. Okay. <laughs> so they're not computer savvy. Hell, give them a give them a sheet of paper. I don't know. Okay, so everybody's yeah. sitting there eating lunch. You know, pass out some pins and do it old school. I know that sucks, but. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and and I get and I I understood her point though, saying you know we were working at a deficit and you know some things like that. So I, you know I, that that part I could level with, but even with that and some of the stuff like the North End Zone Club is not something that she's really getting money from. And hearing that is kind of like WTF. But it's like fight. you got to fight later. You can't fight that right now. No, that's, a, that's, that's oh especially not now. Oh heck no! You should have fought that fight when you was <laughs> right after you was walking across the stage like hey. Hey Willie, you want this extension? Okay, and while I'm giving you an extension, let me go get this north end zone. Nah, bro. It's too, a, what's the song say? It's too late to apologize. That's a one <laughs> season. That's a one season decision, you know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. There is a person though, EA, who is in charge of corporate sponsorship. He's there. Haven't you noticed all the different things that corporate sponsorship has happened? Maybe just not at a naming. And look, I, I got to ask you this. Uh. And this is, I don't know if anyone's ever mentioned this or you know or heard about this. People talk about naming rights on on venues. Is there some sort of, of law that prevents corporate sponsorship on a state building? No, nope, we just don't knowledge? do it. No, we just want to name stuff after people and preserve our history. Well, <laughs> okay, that can still be done. Um, you know, the Pepsi Al Lawson Center. I, I don't know. I mean, hell, you know. Right. No, but like you have, like here here in Orlando, you know, you it's it's not none of those stadiums are named after people. You go to UCF. Every one of those stadiums are named after a corporation, and every one of them cut a check. And every five years, if you ain't signed a new check, your name's coming off that building. Like they don't play over there. You go to UF, the basketball arena, 
it is not the O'Connell Center anymore. It is a corporal X whatever center. Like, no, we are the you go over to USF, the Yingling Center. Like, no, we 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 have well, to step open, up. That open as the Yingling Center. I know that thing. It, well, it was the Sun Dome before that. The O'Connell Center is still something about O'Connell. It's it may be at the O'Connell Center, but it has got that yeah, corporation's that's, that's name on it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So so you could definitely do. I mean, it would be a mouthful. Ken Raleigh Field at Bragg Stadium, da 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 da. But Pepsi, like, because you've you've been a Pepsi school for about a decade. Because I I've left, I left FAMU almost ten years ago, and when I was working at FAMU, we we switched from Coke to Pepsi. So you've been a Pepsi school for about a decade. Like, can you work that Triangle Sales? Like, can you work something with that? Like, can you make nice with Kraft Nissan and you know get that back? Because you know I ain't seen no Kraft Nissan stuff around there in a minute. I ain't going to say what I know, but, uh, you know, like, can you do something? Because we're missing out on money opportunities so that people can write a check for $500 and name a locker for somebody. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all right. That's all right. You know too much. Um, the, uh, yeah, I mean, those are just some of the things, and I and I, and I agree yeah. with you 100% there. Yeah. You know, there's I'll, I'll steal an idea from a team that's not far from where you're from. Well, not terribly far. The Cleveland Browns, until recently, their stadium was, you know, just regular whatever stadium. But what they did in order to get those, they put naming rights on the stadium gates. What if every stadium gate had a naming right? Sunnies, Four Rivers, Mo Better. I mean, Mo Better just went out of business. But, you know, like, if you want to keep the brag name, but you got to find some type of ways to generate revenue outside of just asking the same three, 300, 400 people for a hundred bucks or a thousand dollars. Yeah, exactly. Great suggestion. Toyota, Gallimore, Powell, Fieldhouse, whatever. I mean, look, you know. I've, I've been on selling the, the, the name and rights to the Lawson Center for years. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's long overdue, you know, um, ah, just little things, little things, you know, so. We'll see. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> all right. So let's see. Coming up in the men's games, let's take a look at some men's standings here on the men's basketball circuit within the SWAC conference. Yep. And Southern's team doesn't suck, so. <laughs> hey, they've come in. They're hot. They've won four games in a row. They're currently 8-7 and seven overall, 2-0 and oh in the conference, sitting in first place. Behind them, that team we played Bethune last week. Can you really? Can you believe? I still can't believe we gave up uh, ninety-eight points to Bethune. And that sort of like, I mean, we scored. Hey, look, we scored eighty-six. We scored eighty-six points, Keith. I can't remember the last time. The last time we scored eighty-six points. You got hope. You got more hope in this basketball program than I do, Brian. <laughs> And first, first off, 90, 98 points. I mean, for a for a for a team under this coach, I mean, that's rare. I mean, short of you being a power five team, I mean, what what Creighton did to us at the beginning of the year, a hundred some yeah. points. I mean, but we got better size this year too, though. So I mean, you know, you know, jokes aside, like some of this is just the kind of having to suppress my love for FAMU because I know kind of the basketball program, but they're actually, they're, they they look better than they have, you know, pretty much since MJ left, honestly. Like, they well, actually this, look competitive sometimes. This year, I'm going to try to pull up my stats. This year, he's got a, he's got a better squad. Uh, now, the thing that I'm looking for, now, what's interesting is, you notice about this team, after having played just two games, Jalen Spear returned to the team after some time away, actually, he spent a year junior college before he came back. Right? Mm -hmm. um, For personal reasons is what Coach said. Okay. Well, Spear scored 20 points in his first game over Christmas break, uh, December 30th. And then, he, of course, he put up a conference high still, 32 on 13 of 22 shooting. Prior to Spear, what I noticed is this team relied heavily on Keith Lamar. Um, 
KJ Parker, uh, Rod Coffey. And I just felt like what I'll be interested to see in this game today against Southern is how has this has the week of practice. And see, that's the one thing we get to we get to kind of really watch is a team coming off of a week of practice. Is being off a week helpful in team chemistry? You know, is Spear because I felt like Keith Lamar was was still he he didn't really flow there wasn't a flow to get Lamar the ball and uh, Spear is a dominant guy and coffee really if I were to tell you what a starting lineup should look like it really should look like coffee and Spear in the backcourt KJ Mm -hmm. should be coming off the bench does the unicorn ever get in (laughs) we don't talk about him he he, 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 don't mention his name because y'all y'all some of y'all are so excited about thinking he's the best three-point shooter on the team when statistically he's not he's not i hate to say it this year this year he's not there are other good shooters uh let me answer this. michael lee asks is the game being streamed yes it's on rattlers plus uh michael you go to uh famuathletics.com over on the left side rattlers plus 6.99 pay-per-view which uh it's not a bad price, you know, uh, as uh, we said earlier. What's that? A bag of chips, some bag soda, of chips, some honey buns. And you get access to everything on Rattlers Plus for a day, uh, yeah, for 24 yeah, hours. Exactly. So. Yeah, so you get a chance to kind of dig deep into uh, into what else is out there. Let me see if they've updated the stream with the, with the men stuff. Okay, looks like we've got audio, uh, video. The game should be starting here soon. So, and some of the wins, you know, we kind of talked about Southern. Southern has beaten the UNLV, not, you know, Larry Johnson's UNLV, but they beat them. They beat uh, <coughs> top 25 ranked Mississippi uh, State. They've also beaten Southeastern Louisiana. I don't know who these champion Christian people are. Probably, you know, um, kind of like Lincoln of California. They beat Tulane, Wiley College, HBCU uh, Division Two, F- F- something college, Esselia. Sound like a, you know, you go back and fix it school. Texas Southern, and they've beaten PV. So they've beaten some teams that are reputable and some teams that you could name if you tried. All right. It looks like we are getting ready to go live here. So let me get the live stat thing set up for basketball. Melvin Bill and Al Chester on the call. Looks like we come out early and hit a three to get going. Okay, fam. All right, and Southern's in first place in the conference. So uh, Jordan Chapman hits a three-pointer in the opening possession to give FAMU the 3-0 lead. Hey, 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 let's celebrate. (laughs) <laughs> let's celebrate FAMU's up three to nothing what do you know hey 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 let's go FAMU there we go um let's see if I can find my <coughs> roster and all that good stuff here for the men oh yeah I just had to go to the to the website <laughs> <laughs> He who shall not be named is still on the roster, though. So, I mean, I I saw that. That's why I asked the question. What kind of pass was that? He's still on the roster. Um, Let me uh, let me get something to drink here for a second. So I'm going to put myself on mute and get something. I'm about to grab the grab the snack for the kiddos in a little bit. So <laughs> there you go. So you guys who are watching, Ooh. we'll be back in a second. Um, obviously the live stat will be up. Uh, we will. Uh, let me see if I can. No, I can't do audio and this screen at the same time. So I think you guys would rather watch the audio or the uh, live stat thing. We'll be back in just a second. Hang in there. You're watching. I'm Brian. That's Keith. You're watching our live watch party here. Uh, tell a Rattler or a Jaguar, come on in, join us. Let's talk. Let's talk basketball this afternoon as we watch this game 
from uh, the Lawson Center on the campus of Florida A&M University. We'll be back in just a second.
All right, what up, people? Brian Fulford here. Keith Hadley should be joining me uh, back shortly. In the midst of the men's game, trying to see if the men can uh, finish out the sweep over Southern. Currently game tied at 4-4. Four to four. Appreciate any and all of you who have joined us. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button or the like button wherever you are. Watching the uh, live stream on Rattlers Plus. I'll try to hit replays. I can show replays. I can't show any live action, but I can show replays. Oh, that's a bad over the back foul by Shannon Grant. So obviously you can kind of see everything there. Let's take a look at the stats. What we got going on here? We've only scored one point since the opening three pointer by Jordan Chapman. This will be an interesting game for those of you who like me. Uh, if you're watching. Take a look and see, and those of you, you know, it's fun to do with these uh, these uh, men's games. You know, I like to look and see what kind of what kind of live in-game betting action there is. I'm that guy. There's Keith Hadley joining us. You know, refilled the cup. I forgot to get my rum out. I know Keith went and got probably a little more in his cup. Oh yes, half rum, half sweet tea. <laughs> you know. It's men's basketball season right here. Four to four. So I was keeping an eye on low it. Scoring, low scoring game. I mean, for seven minutes of action, man. I'm I gotta look at the at the total on this and see. There might be some value here on the under, Keith, to be honest. This this one of these games that might go 50 to 50. First team to score 50. Oh, see, it's off the board right now. Come on now. Oh. Bethune Cookman up 12 to 9 over Grambling. Howard up 34 to 29 over Maryland Easter Shore. Oh, yeah. The total is 128.5. Oh, yeah. I'm betting under that right now. Let me see if I can grab that. This is going to be, <laughs> this is going to be one of those 50 to 50 games. Yeah. Hopefully, and we don't I'm, foul out too early. Well, see, unlike the last opponent, Bethune Cookman, Bethune Cookman, they wanted to go. This is a team that's going to play more within our pace. So I just took the live in game at under 128. Yeah, under 128 and a half. I mean, ten, there, there's mathematicians, Steve, who, I mean, I don't know why I call you Steve. Um, that's my that's my other, <laughs> other buddy who, uh, dabbles in the dark arts with me. Um, but Keith, yeah, that's like 10 points in seven and a half minutes. There's like, there's this, there's this formula where it's like, if you do the math, you kind of see where this game is going. We're going to see, man. I, I, I really kick myself when I think about those celebration bowls and Jackson state was in there and it was like, I didn't think they were going to win. I was like, ah, I'm not gonna put any money on this. Hey, you would you would have came out looking good. <laughs> Even this year's celebration bowl, I I don't know if we covered the spread. I'll tell you, no, we did not. <laughs> 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 we actually, we actually, <coughs> if 
I'm not mistaken, the line was actually was it four? I think it actually closed at four. Yeah, the um the pick six is what hurt it. I think it mm. might be five. I think it was either four or five when it closed. Hold on, I'll tell you exactly because I gotta I got a site pulled up here that can that can tell me. see bowls and it's nine eight family's winning right now so i want to make sure i say that one time um just because you don't know how many times you're gonna get to say that say it loud and proud oh come on how do you get a turnover there that's aggravating yeah, so I'm sorry. The line was seven. So the game closed at seven uh, over and under 47. I know I had it at seven. Uh, and I would have won had that had it not been for that damn pick six. <laughs> Which even actually, Willie was I, like, that was a bad play call. Actually, I think I had it down to five. I think I had it, I think I had it down to five. And I would have covered it had, again, not the pick six happened. Yeah, that was the one time, one of the few times, Steve. When uh, I mean, I, I dug it, Keith. It was a one. It was one of the few times that I actually was happy to lose. I mean, as happy as you can be losing what I lost, but <laughs> there, there was still joy in my heart. Just we want a celebration ball. <laughs> exactly, jo joy in my heart, but not in my wallet. So. Browns and the two teams are currently on timeout. So, what are you saying, Brian? I said the Browns just took a six to three lead. NFL and, got, and the game got postponed for the uh, Bills until Monday. Yeah. So great scheduling. We get two NFL games today, two NFL games tomorrow, and then two NFL games Sunday. I mean Monday. And most people are off work Monday, so. I was about to say, I think the NFL just walked into something that they didn't plan on have, have happening that they probably should continue. I, I, I would agree 100%. So 9-8, oh, 10-8. Southern took the lead. Um, we're going to see how this goes, though. I, I, I really, I'm interested to see how our offense works, like, McCullum's not known for being an offensive guy, as you kind of mentioned, and that's long been his struggle. Like he, he normally has his one guy. He's at his best when he has his one guy that is his leading scorer. Uh, does he get that today? And then, ooh, we just got out rebounded on that one. Uh, that led to that ten nine score. But how do we how do we combat this offensive woes? Because he does use motion very pretty well in the offense, but. It's still one person that's pretty ball dominant as far as scoring. Well, here's what I, I do think. The fact that Southern looks like they want to be a half court team or play a half court game works to our advantage or Maybe it just maybe that's not the right way of saying it. Saying it works better for us than trying to play up tempo with a team who wants to press us like what Bethune did. Yes, did Park so, get a three. Southern plays better into our hands. Exactly. Looks like yeah. another foul, another drink. <laughs> You say every. Are oh, you going to go every? I'm going to go I'm gonna every try, turnover. I'm going go to try to until I run out of my, my drink. I may have to get a refill. <laughs> you got me wanting to go to the cabinet. <laughs> well, I, I like it. I I went back to the Babico. My wife's got the uh, credit to my father-in-law, who's also a rattler. 
he's got the uh he he bequeathed us with some of that crown royal apple so for christmas yes 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 well his birthday but he uh he cracked one open and when she came back home she's like my daddy let me have this i'm like okay <laughs> must have been a big bottle oh yes large bottle yep mm. father-in-law is also a golf coach over there about to retire at winter haven high school but Trying to see if you can send some rattlers up here. Um, that's who. Uh, that's who. That's who my school plays. We have a, a MLK doubleheader, Orlando oh. Christian Prep versus Winter Haven basketball game Monday at OCP. Okay, Orlando Christian Prep for those who don't know. Yeah, four four thirty JV, which is my game. Six o'clock varsity. What 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 are the tickets looking like? Oh man, best ticket in town. Five dollars for adults, two dollars for students. Man, that's all right. That. Yeah, you can't beat that. Hit the swing by there, get a little bit of footage of old Coach Brian out there. Southern get that first half of the one on one. See, can they get the second half to tie it up? And uh, family men's basketball. It's uh it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Coach McCullum with this program. Southern missed the second half, so it's 12 to 11. Fam, you still lead. Uh, but let's see. Players bringing it up in the middle of the court. What the heck? That was just a ridiculous turnover. <laughs> We're going to see. Oh, jump shot. Southern's kind of comfortable with that mid-range. I've seen, like, they don't mind pulling that mid-range. Now, whether they hit it or not is a whole different story, but mid-range, open shot, I'm going to shoot my shot. Ooh, three-pointer. Oh, all nets. Oh, that thing was beautiful. Straight buckets. FAMU is up. Ooh, on mine is 15 to 11, but I'm behind yeah. Brian a little bit. Brian's trying not to be a spoiler, but... Ooh, that block off the backboard. Oh, he... he couldn't dribble. Three for Shrimp. three. Good. Back to back. Back to back baskets by Shrim. 18 to 11. Fam, he was up seven. I'm waiting for Southern to kind of call a timeout. They did. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I'm like, you can't let this get away from you. And now that the Lawson Center, I told you, you look, you're wearing Columbia blue and gold. You just don't walk into the Al Lawson Center and get a W. They took a time out. We're going to see how this goes. Is this going to be the new uh, the new House of Horrors for teams from the SWAC coming into the Lawson Center? What? See if I can rewind and show those. All right, here we go. We'll show a little replay action here. You're watching a replay. This is a replay of uh, they're in a currently in a timeout. Oh, that's the that's the turnover. <laughs> that was the WTF turnover right there. It's like what the man? Heck? I I look. I about cursed. There's that mid range jump shot. I love the pace. I love the fact that we come up in trend in transition. Wide open jump shot, shooters ready to shoot, knocks it down, three pointer. Yeah, we look good. That that and you have times where this family basketball team looks good. Like as much as we kind of, you know, complain or talk about the ineptitude of the program, it's just because of the end results. But this team actually does have a chance in the tournament. Like a lot a lot of the reason, as JC pointed up there, it's his last year. This is his last year at the contract, if I remember correctly. Um, it is. So that's kind of why it's the constant consternation about, hey, what's going on and will he make it and will he not make it? Because we know he's in the last year and he hadn't, getting offered, he hadn't been offered an uh, extension yet. And he's not a, you know, A.D. Sykes guy. Ooh, dang, he got his stuff stuffed. Oh, you muted, Brian. 
Jimmy Mack says next year is the last year. I are you? Uh... <laughs> That's interesting. Well, I gotta do. I gotta check into that. Yes, there is Audible. So if you if you are on Rattlers Plus, it's Audible or visual. So and um, it's. 18 to 11, first half. Uh, so boys, men's basketball is two halves. Women's basketball is four quarters. Southern is eight and seven. FAMU is two and 10 record-wise. So hopefully, hoping as a Rattler Nation that we can still win. I mean, this is just one of those, th- one of those games where you can kind of pick up these wins and get it going. So I do see where it says through 25, but I also saw where it expired in 24, though, JC. So, hmm. Is that like a, a team a team option in the last year? Is that how that works? Uh, it's a team option. We know what the option's gonna be. <laughs> and that's and that's an interesting conversation. Just one of the it things is. of you know, if we're being honest about the state of HBCU basketball, it is what kind of hire do you make? I mean, obviously, this is FAMU. You're not gonna hire somebody that's going to be coming from a place like Duke, nor should you really want a person that comes from a school like that, but you're looking for a school that's, you know, or a coach that's at a mid-major that's successful at it. And I think if you can get somebody that's successfully at a mid-major, you can, especially regular season-wise, you can win a lot of games in the SWAC. And if you are winning games in the SWAC, the gym's going to fill. And it becomes that next level of becoming more than just people who can win in the SWAC and people that can win non-conference games to have a, you know, a decent record so you can make a, uh, excuse me, NCAA tournament bid. The fake, the fake voice drives me nuts. I look. I was, it's, Marcus, funny. <laughs> it's not fake. That's how he talks. That's I, how he I, really I, talks. I, I love Melvin. Melvin. That's that's his Melvin's he, cadence. You know. He really talks like that. That's his cadence. Now, yeah, he may have. He may grew up. He may have grown up a fan of Howard Cosell. Who knows? Ooh, that little crossover move was sweet. He just didn't finish. He didn't finish though. What the? How do you turn the ball over there? What the? Man, come on. Now, the, uh, the right. Thing, what, oh, what? Let me go back. Let me go back to my script and the stat screen. See, what I worry about is when we start playing too many guys. <laughs> oh, he's going to play mean, all the guys. I, well, and see that that's the that doesn't need to happen because <laughs> this team has been great. Well, let me let me rephrase that word. This team has been at their best when their rotation is shorter really i think and then and he's missing players cuz uh what you call it from Okoye high school he's out this season who, who um my man alex alex andrews he's out this season i, I don't know who he is uh he, he's 67 200 pound forward number 55 man he gave us some minutes he's a great defender um i actually asked uh Oh, yeah, man. He was solid. He was – we played Jackson State last year. I was at that game, and he was the catalyst for change. He was not – he's not a scorer. At the time, he wasn't. But, man, he was giving you some defensive minutes that were uh, that were worthwhile. Southern misses for three. This is like watching – whoa, nice jump over. <laughs> uh, heck of an athlete. But uh, this is like watching modern boys basketball where these guys are wanting to shoot for three instead of take it to the cup. Edwin, Edwin, when when you are, what's our record, Keith? Two and eleven, I believe. Yeah, you can't be great. Nothing, nothing I can say about you is great when you're two and eleven. Sorry, two and I, ten. Two and ten. Yeah, two and ten. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. I can't use the word great for a two and ten team. I can say improve better. But wait, that wasn't out of bounds because it hit the top of the rim. No, it usually has to go oh, it, over the it back. Can actually, it can hit the very top. And it can go straight up in the air as long as it doesn't go over or touch the uh, shot clock. Mm. Oh, nice little interior uh, shot there. It wasn't beautiful, but it was a it, it was effective. Twenty two seventeen, FAMU, and we, we're seeing where uh, FAMU ag- defensively is still aggressive. Like I, I think that's one of the things I like. 
but I'm also enjoying the fact that offensively we don't look that bad. And to Brian's point earlier, um, this is a better team than last year. <laughs> Coach McCollum said it like, or, or in the season going into the season two, though. He 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 doesn't have uh, as he as he said you don't have a what do you call it a vampire you don't have a culture vulture whatever whatever little phrase you want to use somebody was sucking the life out of the team last year I feel like I know who it was but I ain't gonna say no names yeah I mean you know you, you don't have to be smirch somebody who's not around anymore nope that was a nice three wasn't it step back Bobby Jack twenty two twenty on mine but uh. It's yeah, gonna be, you don't get a surprise if you're on the other one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see it. Still kind of playing kind of high. I would like to see us. Why did he take that three as a trash shot? I guess the shot clock was getting low, but still. That's horrible shot selection. And then on the wing, off balance three, and it's good. Southern's up 23 to 22, but our shot selection in that last possession was absolutely, absolutely abysmal. Like, you, you can't shoot that kind of shot there. Like, even the play setup right now that I'm looking at is questionable. Like, why are so many guys so high? You don't have, like, you get your smallest player cutting, cutting across, but I don't know, Brian. That, that well, what, no, no, what, what, no, it's not you. It's one of the criticisms is our offensive movement. There's a nice three in the corner. Yeah. Our offensive movement, it, it it leaves a lot to be desired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, I mean, what is that? I was going to say, you don't know if we are a, an isolation off the dribble team. We're not necessarily a pick and roll team. We're not a team that gets the ball into the post as much as we probably should with the with the two bigs we have. We aren't a pass and cut team. Or I should say a, a motion offense team. What kind of team are you is, is becoming is I, becomes I, I, a question. I don't, I don't know. I don't I'm still trying to figure it out. I mean I'm at the halfway point. I'm still trying to figure it out. I, 25 to 25 Two thirty-five left in the half. Um, man, Brian, we're right on pace for that fifty-some point thing you were talking about there. Yeah, let's see if I can go to some live in or some replay action here. And a decent crowd, considering uh, two losing teams at home. <laughs> like that's a pretty decent crowd when you start looking at the attendance. I know Kelvin said about a, about a, a little more than a thousand. I'll probably speculate we got a good fifteen to sixteen hundred there right now. And it, as you can see, the motion see like, I mean? that three point shot. See, like, but see, when I when I talked about motion, look, every screen in that set you saw, nobody really goes off a screen hard. Nobody mm -hmm. is really opening up a teammate with the screen. So it's, if you're not using the screen or if you're not setting up off the screen, what are we doing with the screen? Right. And they're all high screen. So then even with the shot, when he shoots I'm the okay. shot, there's nowhere near the cup to even okay. make the rebound. This possession, notice, we don't have as many screens as we did the last possession, right? Mm -hmm. No movement, no cutting, a lot of stationary, nope. a lot of dribble, 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 kick to the corner, happen to be wide open. Good job. I mean, I guess. Good job. He made the Not shot. Open. He made the shot. So, hey, that's why I said good job. He made the shot. Good job. But if you're actually looking at the play design, it's nothing to – like you said, you're being nice to say it leaves a lot to be desired, but it's it's it sucks. <laughs> well, if the goal, again, is to use up clock, is this where we're at, tied up, 25? Uh, yeah, we're, we're 25 in peace right now. Okay. I think we call a timeout, yep. All right. Yep. And we just came out of the timeout in live action. Shot for right. three, horrible shot. Ball bounces off a Southern player, and we keep it. But it, it's a lot of those – the shot selection for me is what kills me with our men's team. And when you kind of look at the shot chart, 
you see a, a lot of shots. We only have one shot, two shots from really inside the key. Every other shot, three shots, sorry. Every other shot is a perimeter shot. And we have a bunch of shots in the corners on the wings from three-point range, but very few shots that are, like, inside the key area. Whereas, you know, I mean, Southern's got one, two, three, you know, four themselves, and they've hit a couple threes, but they're dead on threes, the ones they've hit. Like, I don't know. It's, it's just looking at that spray chart, I don't love it. And that drive to the basket that just happened, I like it. I think it's a good shot. I, I want to see us, if we're going to play a ball control style of basketball, I want us to attack the cup more. And it looks like the points didn't count, so, but still. And so we're starting to see, like, even still, like, Southern's driving to the hole. Oh, look, that dude almost rolled his ankle. Um, but you're able to see, like, Southern's becoming more aware that they need to try to penetrate more often. They In this, you know, current possession that you're seeing, they're attacking the, bu the bucket, seeing if they can get some fouls. They're going to get a foul. So now it's, okay, can you get some of FAMU's better players, especially the bigger guys in the foul trouble, you know, it becomes the next part of the game. And as Brian's pointing out in the shot chart, you can see like look at look at look at this is this is the paint. This is the rim. Do we have anything by the near the, the rim? We're we're the right side, right? We don't have anything near the rim. This is the closest we got to the rim right here. This basket by KJ. And it went in. We don't have, we don't have and it went in, yes, yes. But we don't have anything else. Now, I mean, granted, neither the Southern, which is why the score is what it is. You know, neither team – both teams are playing good defensively, not allowing anything near the rim. Correct. Unlike unlike last week where Bethune was dunking all on us. Oh, um, man, that was embarrassing. Oh my, my God. <laughs> Those guys, man. They were doing sports center type-ish. And now, and now we're seeing – oh, we broke the press. We got open three, but we missed it. So – I mean, and I'm not mad at the the shot. I mean, three point shots. If you're hitting thirty percent from three, you're you're probably going to the freaking NFL. But still, I mean NBA. But still, uh, <laughs> Edwin said, "What's this software? This is uh <laughs> This reminds me of basketball version. Look, it reminds me of NBA 2K. I'm like, what the heck? This is what these kids got in these video games? See that." That offensive rebound that because KJ wasn't there, that's got a that's got a tick off coach. Yeah. And then we gave up. See, the point it all start, it all starts. I want to I hope I can can I go back and show this? Uh, the shot chart? No, I gotta go back and show this replay. Oh, okay. I'm, and then like in the, the penalty we just got. I mean, it's 30 to to 25 Southern, but Southern is starting to attack. The middle now, gonna, like they're I'm not the only ones show, looking at the shot chart. I'm going to show this possession. I know the action is live. So I'm going to go to a replay here to show this action because this is this is the kind of thing that that burns coaches up. All right, we're, we're in a zone. We're in a in a two three zone. Okay, I want you to watch up top around the perimeter here where where uh, KJ is on the perimeter. Basket, don't come up with a rebound. Loose ball, don't come up with it. Okay, that's one offensive rebound. Another shot thrown up. Foul. Oh, my God. How did he just score? Was that on a punt return or kick return? <laughs> oh, my God. This Texans game. Ridiculous. All right, this is... I wanted to move forward to where. Oh, they're not missing much. We're just sucking right now, so it's okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, 20, 30 to 27, though, FAMU is going to do make a little make a little noise. But <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to have to come back to it. I'm, I'm missing the. The current game? No, you are not missing much. They're actually, there's a foul, so they're kind of. Uh, oh, no, it's halftime right now. It's halftime right now, so you're good. Brian. It is halftime? Okay, so yeah, we can run out. All right, what's the halftime score? 
It is 30 to 25 to 30 to 27. Southern University is up. Southern is eight and seven on the season. The Rattlers are two and ten. And uh yeah, these stats. all right, 57 points. Stepping that was a good shot. It was a good look. He you know probably could have hit this. Okay, this is the defensive possession I'm talking about. Notice what we did in the last one, right? Gave up an offensive rebound, a loose ball that ended up leading to a field goal. We're back into a zone now. Watch KJ on the ball. That's KJ on the ball up top. Uh, let me see. Four is uh, Louis Jean. KJ watching, watching, watching. He, he's like, where are you going, KJ? Make sure we got the ball. One offensive rebound. Two offensive Around, rebounds. With with He's four four ball. rattlers right there, too, though. That's the other part. It's four of our guys that are just two of them are just kind of standing there like it's like it's like when you're moving furniture, then two Negroes that don't do nothing, but they just keep backing up with their hands out, like, bro, you need some help? I got it, I got it, I got it. Like, nah, bro, come up yeah. here and get some help. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I agree. I don't I can't honestly tell you whether it's a it's a mix between a two three. Um, or two on two. Uh, it's either one of the two. I, I don't think most people. I don't. I can't remember the last person who ran a two one two. But I would think if you played a two one two, you played a lot higher. You put that. You put that one in the middle about the free throw line. Mm -hmm. And then break. the other two kind of in the wings outside around the cup there. Exactly. Exactly. So okay. that way, you know, they can kind of either jump out there to you know cover the three point line or be there to rebound. Right. Right. Got to get rid of the ball. This, this is way too, too much, much dribbling. dribbling. Yeah. Way, I, I know but then why didn't Finn a set a decent pick? Like, that pick was but 30, man. That play right there, they ran. that is their most successful play right there. That pin down to the big, that we get to the nail. We scored three, four times off of that play against Bethune. Um, that is the one play that we have that works like a charm because we have a big. But obviously, you can't go to it all the time, mm -hmm. you know. But yeah, that that play right there, that's 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 every time I see it, it's money in the bank. Money. Looks like they got some <laughs> kind of contest they're about to do. Oh, oh yeah, you, you dribbling contest. And then so, if we're going around the swag, looking at points wise, uh, Grambling is up one point. Over Bethune Cookman, 37 to 36. They're still in the first half there. You got Alcorn State and Alabama State just started four to three. Then later on, you got Pine Bluff and Texas Southern, Jackson State, Alabama AM, and Valley at Prairie View. So right now, though, uh, it's interesting to see that Grambling is uh holding you know uh Bethune down because as you mentioned, Bethune has been scoring a lot of points. They just dropped what a hundred on us, <laughs> and they've been averaging what a lot of points, but not able to stop anybody. So, um, let me pick back up while you mentioned those scores. Let me pick back up to all of the women's scores. Jackson State's women, what a big third quarter, a twenty-two to five third quarter. They defeat Jackson State. Or Alabama AM, excuse me. Jackson State defeats the Bulldogs 70 to 41. Blowout. <laughs> Alcorn State goes on the road. Gets a 49 to 42 win at Alabama State. Alabama State 1 and 14 on the season. 1 and 3. A pair of 1 and 1 win teams. That was Alcorn State's first win in the conference as well. Right now, we got a tie ball game in Houston, Texas Southern, um, and and UAPB, UAPB, the big bad. You know, everyone wanted Coach Dawn Thornton from UAPB to come to FAMU. You're not wrong. 55, yeah, 55-55 is the score right now in the third quarter, by the way. Third quarter. Uh, let me look over in the MEAC, MEAC women. Are they no no Miak women playing today? I thought none of them were on TV, wasn't that? Uh, or yeah, oh, none that's right. No, I remember Drew and I, Drew and I, AD and I talked about this. And there's no Miak 
women's games this weekend. Just the men's. So we have yeah. Howard and Maryland Eastern Shore. They're in the second. Howard is up on Maryland Eastern Shore by five. So um, mm, it'll be interesting to see what happens with that as far as the conference goes. Like, you know, I know we're not in the MEAC anymore, but what happens with these two teams? And honestly, I think at a certain level and a certain degree, I don't think that the two conferences should merge. But you should start looking at having a MEAC SWAC Challenge basketball type event, having a oh. basketball tournament. Like, and honestly, the CIAA, SIAC, MEAC, and SWAC should just sit up there and just have a chat and say, hey, we're going to work collaboratively to support our four conferences in any way possible. And some of this has to be by creating preseason tournaments, in season tournaments, other events and activities, because there's no reason around holiday time you can't have a MEAC, SWAC, whatever in Orlando at the Wild World of Sports, something like that. And just oh, getting man, the, the alumni or fans to come down from five MEAC or, you know, all six MEAC schools come down here, play, play some games, six SWAC schools come down, and you just have at the end, have a trophy or something, just something and bring some of the bands, like make an event of it. But, you know, again, that's – I'm different. Keith, watch, watch this. Um, they have these kind of tournaments all the time during Thanksgiving break, during the Thanksgiving holiday, right? Oh, hold, hold on, we got a we got an update from our man on the street, Kelvin Rozier, coming in with a halftime update. Let's see what kind of see what his audio is like. <laughs> Our man on the street, Kelvin Rozier, checking in. What up, y'all? How y'all doing? All right, all right. What's it looking like over there at the Boston Center? Right? Yeah, it played pretty good first half, just the last three minutes. They didn't finish, you know. We, we're prone to have some of those times where we, uh, you know, we, we uh, have some scoring. And so those last two, three minutes, we kind of got stuck on 25. And uh, had a few fouls, so they hit about two or three, about three, three corners in a row. And so that's kind of the difference. We're about rebounding. We're shooting better from the field. We're shooting better from three corners. Uh, turn, turn over and we, we commit more fouls. That's kind of why they're in the game. All right. Yeah, that's kind of what we kind of what we thought. Um, does the does the pace of this game compare to the last game surprise you at all? Not at all. And just looking at the team, uh looking at Southern my first time really watching them. They are guard oriented team and they they're gonna drive up a lot of threes. I, I believe they they, they jacked up about what, fifteen? So uh, that's that's their game. They, they, you know, they're not a half court team. They're not trying to be a half court team. So they're playing to their strength. Vanderbilt has committed eleven turnovers in the half. Southern has committed three. Uh, shot the ball extremely well from the three point line. That's what we think you want us in this game. Yeah, yeah, we we tune the ball pretty well. We're uh, it, it's just our turnovers in our, in our fouls right now. That uh, you know, we got to clean up some more. And um, we can't afford the the low right going three four minutes with two points. That's going to be a key going in the second half. But so they're going to keep jacking up the ball from the three point line and speed up the game. They, they do press it, you know, about 50% of the time. You know, like I say, they're not trying to play a half court game. And uh, they're playing a jump with their team. I think mean, that's smart for them. So, do you think that uh, we are. We are somewhat playing their game because, you know, as our game is a lot slower paced, do you think that our game that we're playing really fits more into what Southern wants us to do? Not, not really. In the sense that we're not a great half-court team either, particularly 
and we don't, and we're not trying to see the folks. So, Santa Grant is not a really guard game. And uh, he's been a different kind of guy. He's not a real, he doesn't have a real post game. He don't have a post game. So, I would like to see Grant start and get some bubble in that center. And, but if he does that, you got to feed him. Because he does have post post movement. He's big it down the floor. So if you go to him, I think he can be productive. But uh, that remains to be seen. Do you think, and Brian pointed out some of the motions, do you think that we'll see some adjustments in the motions as far as when we, you, you'll notice the players are just kind of looking at one guy a lot of the time. Do you think any changes that happens, or is this just going to be part of what we continue to see throughout McCullough's time? Honestly, I don't see what we run a lot of sets. So, I don't see much too many, too much adjustments. Uh, honestly, we only have about so two, two players that probably get their own shot and uh, I do think Shannon Grant could be one of them, but again, we don't try to see the post enough. And uh, when uh, Spears is in the game, he's quick, but his shot connected, and his passing, he's got to get better. I know he's a senior, I know he's been gone for a year or now. With the minutes he's playing, the amount of minutes he's playing, he's got to play a full game. seeing a lot of what we see it man and um kind of like you were saying um and then free throws is another thing like we're 50 percent but we're one for two <laughs> whereas southern is four for six from the free throw uh free throw line and kelvin pointed out uh three point percentage they've shot 16 we've shot 14 but we're six for 14 they're four for 16 so i mean yeah it's only two more threes but that's six more points so you kind of wonder, are, are we going to fall in love with those threes again? Because as we showed on the shot on the shot chart, we weren't getting a lot of shots near the cup in the first place. So is this something we start to do to try to make the comeback and then really put ourselves further behind because Southern is attacking the basket? Right, right. Um, just responding to... Uh... Uh, a text from my favorite uh, HBCU basketball analyst. Oh, oh, EA said, yeah, he and Albert taking pictures. Uh, other people coming up taking pictures. Colsey's the next head coach. <laughs> You're not the only one to say that. <laughs> Y'all, y'all, y'all ask, y'all ask boss lady while she's down there and see, make sure, make sure she, see what she says while y'all down there taking pictures <laughs> or, or, or say, Hey, oh, can I get a picture with you and the AD and see how that works. Poison. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It was right there. I'm not going to let it slide. It was. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, man. Never know. This cat from the Texans just did a 360 on the back of the quarterback after he hit him while he was sliding. Trying to avoid the helmet to helmet. So he hits him in the shoulder and ends up spit. Wait till you see the highlights of it. He did a 360. On the back. Mm, goodness. 
Oh, that midnight train to Georgia. Woo woo. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Y'all are, <laughs> Y'all are absolutely ridiculous. Um, all right, let's uh let's kind of see what these stats are looking like here. Looks oh, like boy. the uh second half is about to start. Again, your boy has uh 28, 128 and a half. I should be on pace. Right now they've only scored 57 points. So short of an offensive, you know, some ridiculousness. I feel pretty good about I think you're okay. <laughs> unless uh, unless we through. unless we just go from crazy from three. Didn't we have one game where we were like some ridiculous percentage from three this season? Yeah, I don't I don't want to get too comfortable, Keith. I've I've learned my lesson over the years. Don't get too comfortable. Don't count the biddies for the hatch, huh? Yeah, no, no. Don't get don't get too excited. Yeah. Oh, he was wide open from three, and he made it. This is so weird. Well, Texas we, we have to about. we have to stop we have to stop going underneath screens here. That that's going to be a problem, especially if Southern's going to start hitting shots. We got to keep going underneath. Uh, stop going underneath screens. And looks now, like they, they, oh, we say Brian. No, no, go ahead. No, I was saying looks like they were listening to us about that shot selection. Look, <laughs> I see some people near the paint. Well, yeah, but he still shot a three. I mean, thankfully, Grant was there to get a rebound. Facts. How much do you think those floor seats cost? For FAMU? Yeah. (sighs) Where only one person but that gentleman in that nice FAMU jacket is sitting. He probably somebody just gave him that. <laughs> he just know somebody, Brian. I don't know. He been sitting there all day. He been sitting there for the for the first, for the first game. I mean, per game, I would probably say like maybe 40, 50 bucks. You know what? If that, if that for court seats. Yeah. If we're course. selling those for 40, 50 bucks, then I'm I'd be I'd be there every game. <laughs> 40, 50 bucks. Come on now. Ooh, oh, okay. That's gotta be that's gotta be worth a hundred. Oh, so nice feeding, inside post move. We feed we feed my man's now. Uh Grant is getting we're fed. We're trying to find out. Let me text Kelvin. Let me find out how much do those let me do, let me do uh voice text. I can't try to type all this. Uh let's see. I'm going to say minimum 200. <laughs> you got you got I don't know Brian, we'll see. Let's see. Ugh. 200 bucks for fan you basketball? Uh, you're paying for the experience of being close to the action. Unobstructed yeah. view. Yeah, you you still paying for that experience, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what Ticketmaster says. You know, but those, those seats should not go. They, they, those seats have got to be filled up by somebody. We've got to be able to sell those to boosters. You got You got You can't. Uh, you can't have those seats be unsold. That's a bad look on television. It is honestly include them in the ticket package. Honestly, yeah. like include those in one of the booster packages. I mean, hell, you're not giving them any anything else as far as as an athletic department. And you keep asking for money. Well, I don't want to be just giving anything away, but man, there's like at least a dozen seats down there. Somebody should be sitting in those seats. I mean, I know you can tie them with the score graphic, here, but I mean, shit. <laughs> Let me just say it. Let's see. I bet they're like. They might be 50 bucks for it. I'm just going to say. 50? Anybody else got any thoughts? Oh, I'm saying over 50, under 250. I don't even see him listed as on sale on Ticketmaster. See, probably private. Private. Private VIP exclusive. 
And the only tickets on Ticketmaster are the ble the bleachers. Everything else looks like it's sold out. Let Which me is ask, is there, a, is there a VIP area where people can get food and drinks? See, this is when we talk about fan. Look, like you're, Is there a north end zone type place at the Lawson Center on game days? They used to have one. Remember, Kelvin was talking about it. But even past that, like, what do we have? All right, technical? let's go to the basketball website. How do you buy tickets? <laughs> <laughs> you're funny. Like I'm, I'm on the website. Okay, I see the little tickets thing up here in the corner. It, it took me back to Ticketmaster. Uh, football, make a donation, enroll students, contact us. That's it. There's nothing for basketball on the website. Like you can go look, but it just says twenty uh, twenty twenty three football season tickets, game day information. Student tickets, upcoming events. There's nothing about basketball season tickets on the website. There's nothing about basketball tickets on the website. Let's see. The other game is Tuesday. That's Valley. Yeah, Brian. There's, there's, there's not. That's not Valley. All right, women's basketball. There's no way to buy tickets except for general admission. <laughs> you go to the website, it's not. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I'll bite my tongue. <laughs> I'm going to bite my tongue hard on that one. There's really no, like, really good way to buy tickets on the website, though. It's stupid. The a EA says the AD shouldn't, the AD couldn't tell you how much season tickets were earlier during this football season. Well, I, I cannot verify that because I don't remember it, but you no, know, he's it. right. He's right. I, I heard it. I heard it. He, he ain't lying. He ain't lying. Look, look, lying. I, look that's what, I didn't say he was lying because I couldn't remember. That's why I was like, you're probably right. I just don't remember no, I, it. So I, I don't want to be like, it. I remember it. I do remember the basketball season. Well, not even the basketball season ticket stuff. The basketball what to wear per game just came out, what, this week? Did it really? Last week, something like that. You know, usually you have a calendar that tells you, you know, when things are happening. Like, we should, we should, oh. Uh... We just get a calendar for every sport. To, I'm sorry. Yeah, our, our, yeah. There should be a calendar for every sport on when you need to have season tickets done, all this stuff, you know. And I know sometimes schedules create issues. Yeah, oh, and the reason I I didn't get overly upset with that is you had the Celebration Bowl, you had the SWAT Championship, and all that kind of uh, come up. But some of that you would think conceivably would have already been out, so that even though ooh, nice three, even though those things happen. You could have just dropped those on the scheduled date and been like, hey, I don't know. Like right now, nobody, a lot of people don't know the baseball schedule's out. It is. We we talked about that the other day. It is out. It is out. It's out. It's ready to go. I already started plotting on seeing what games I might go to. Yeah, yeah. I did we did I did that too. Trying to figure out how to get the season opener. That's what I'd like to yeah. get to. Well, because they don't play UCF this year, which I'm not crying about. But they do play USF, which we'll see. And we have UF again, which I hate them. <laughs> um, uh, matter of fact, hold yeah. on. I got the, I got the non-conference right here. I think I wrote it down. We have – nope, that's not it. Um, okay, here it is. We got Eastern Illinois to open – the season with four games. Then we play Troy. Uh, we also play Troy later in the season. We've got Mercer for two games up there, and then I think one game at our place. We play Grambling just two games in the Gar Lucas Classic up in Atlanta. We got a three game series against Indiana State, a home and home with University of North Florida in the midseason. You already mentioned the USF. You already mentioned Florida. And then we got one against Auburn. 
University. Yep, and Southern is intentionally attacking the the, the cup. That so USF game is enticing because it is during OCPS spring break. <laughs> now, so. I, I want you. Have you noticed and you watched how our men are breaking Southern's press? Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not that hard. Our women can no. do the same thing, but they don't ever have anybody in the middle. I, you know, I don't know. And that, and we've fallen behind. It's an eight-point game from my perspective, forty-two to thirty-eight, um, or thirty-four. Sorry. And so, it's Southern's been very intentional about attacking the uh, the stuff there, though. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me see what let me see what the uh, what the hot chart looks like. I'm gonna go to the hot chart. Let's go to the uh, shot chart. I bet it's lit up like a Christmas tree inside. EA, EA got me with that one. You only sell tickets for two sports. We do. Football and basketball. Look at look well, at uh, softball. I thought softball. You paid for softball, or is that still free? Is that free again? I, I don't know. I don't. I think it was free. Yeah. We still have not scored a point closer than where we were in the first half. Southern, look at these. They're starting to starting to eat in the paint. That, that's what I said. And yeah. like you said, in the interior next to the goal, that in that entire. Uh, boundary zone. We have not done anything there. That's our made shots right there. Look at that. Well, we stroking it from the outside to art. But man, at least we were. Three point percentage, we're back to thirty eight percent. Seven for eighteen, and we've only made thirteen field goals. So over half of our field goals made are from three point range. That's that's kind of alarming because then you have thirty three shots, eighteen of them for three. So over half of your shots taken are from three point range. That to me, that's not good math. No, like. All right, back to live action. We just missed the inside shot from my perspective. Uh, Southern's bringing it down. Um, yeah, they're about to start eating up some clock. UAPB up by two over Texas Southern, 444 okay. in the fourth. How long does she stay there? Who? UAPB's coach. Uh, where's she gonna go? Good question. Somewhere else on Swack, probably first. <laughs> Swack or Miak. That's usually how it goes. Oh, now come I, on. I like to hear, hey, ever since y'all uh, pointed out this Howard Cosell thing, now that's all I hear. <laughs> I, had never, I had never really thought about it or analyzed it until he just did what he just did. <laughs> yep. Hey, te Jay Texas just Parker. scored. Ah, uh, damn it! Oh, you got you got the Browns. I, I got the Browns minus three, and I got the over. The over is going to hit. I'm just waiting on the Browns. The, they must have scored on a big play because I'm look I'm looking at them on the 38 yard line right now. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -mm. Roll out, go deep, got him. Wow, that damn C.J. Stroud boy. That dude's he's so he's, he's that dude's something else, isn't he? He's ridiculous. Replace Deshaun Watson like it don't matter. Oh, it says Cozy and Sykes in deep conversation. Where I'm looking on the sideline, I don't see red. Yeah, right there behind the official. Where's she at? I see orange. That's orange with that long hair. AD Sykes hair ain't that long. <laughs> <laughs> she got the she got that perm. Who, Who said this? I, I got it from a uh, source. Hey. Hey. <laughs> 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 I can't <laughs> take a picture and post it online. Look, look. Oh, see, okay. Time for KJ to stop shooting threes. Look, I told you that that shift <coughs> went over. You have twenty-one three points attempted. 
eight of twenty one. Yeah, no bueno. Edwin, Ed, Edwin said, "Keith, wigs are different lengths." <laughs> ah, look, you got to ask Mister Campbell about that. He's he's the wig maestro. <laughs> Y'all support Mister Campbell. Ooh, ooh. Man, look, I'm starting to get nervous. I'm not gonna lie, this is the first time I've been nervous about my total. And Talking about the Cleveland we, uh Houston game. No, this, man, no, this fam you game, man. Southern Southern and they they not they not slowing down at all. No, we're gonna take this L a hot L we now. Well, yeah, we can't shoot for nothing, so that's gonna be consistent. But, but it's I, also I, part of his pacing, Brian. Like, why are you jacking up all these threes opposed to and and Kelvin pointed out we're not the best half court team, but slow the game down, play it within your pace. We're not a good fast break team either. So I mean, you got to do one of the two things. Yeah, I mean, well, we're not a good team in general, but still. And when you have two <laughs> bigs, the Southerns, Southerns imposing their will right now. Yeah. Fifty to thirty, fifty-one to thirty-nine. Yikes. Does he finish the season? Who? <laughs> Man, when's the last time that has happened? Mm. Uh, that's the question, Brian. I, 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 I think he, I think he finished the season as coach, but I, I. This is to me. This is this is as as AD. This is where you redeem yourself. This is where you like, hey, um, no, we effed up with the football coach thing. About that basketball coach thing. <laughs> How about we go ahead and we start having some conversations? Yeah, Cleveland's about to lose this game unless some things change. Let's see. Is asking questions you ask on OG? <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Hey. Makes a difference when you got somebody to do a show with. <laughs> I hear you. Man. Uh, no, real questions though. I'm really impressed with Houston right now. They are. They are. And I love I I I, I like what we've seen from our black coaches. This is one of the things we haven't really talked about this year. D'Amico Ryan's, you know, played at the University of Alabama, was a linebacker, was was a player for the Texans, becomes the head coach for the Texans, makes the playoffs. Then you turn around and you get Mayo over there with the uh, Patriots, takes over for Belichick, went to the University of Tennessee, was a four-star prospect. Now you get another black man that is leading an organization, and especially in a place like New England. Like, how long is – Boston kind of had that reputation, like we're not gonna say it, but we're gonna say it. And it's like, yo, y'all got a brother? Like, was it there was no long coaching search? There was no high hiring outside of the group. There was a nope, this is a Belichick guy, we're gonna get him. Well, I read something that they had a uh an agreement in his extension recently that made it so should Bill retire you would be elevated to the head coaching position, you know, quickly. So that way they sort of didn't have to go through the Rooney rule stuff too. So that's mm -hmm. why they were able to kind of make this move. They had already sort of pre-planned this. To have it done. Yeah. I, I love it. Uh, you know, people, I don't know how people are going to feel about that, but whatever. It's going to be interesting because, I mean, I hope you understand. You only got like two years and a piece to get it right though. <laughs> like you got to find a new quarterback, and you know, I mean, well, that, you know, that, that's what, that what it always is, and then what it, it's always gonna come down to. You got to find a quarterback. So now the question is, if I'm him, I don't want to be a. I don't, you know, I don't know if I want to rely on any of those guys I have, and I definitely don't want to rely on a rookie. I'm like, I, I gotta go be, find. I think I go to Chicago, either Chicago, and I get trade, Fields. Uh, fields. Because you might yeah. get him for a third round pick. Maybe. Maybe so. I mean, and and he's mobile enough to where part of to me the New England thing is you got to be able to handle that second half of the season where you really got to change, you know, change your game to be able to really focus on running the ball. What can Justin Fields absolutely do? Run. 
Like, do you want him to be a running quarterback? No. But do you want to have a quarterback that is mobile or dual threat? Yes. And I think you can build that around him. You just need a – you have to hire an offensive coordinator, though. Right. Maybe somebody from the Dolphins, honestly. Hey, let me uh, – I'm going to let you I'm gonna let you run it for a minute. I need to take a phone call for a second. So. Got you, got you, got you. All right, be, be right back. So 53-39, if you're watching, uh, game is definitely getting away with FAMU. Uh, part of it is definitely shot selection, though. Uh, so it's one of those things where FAMU's still taking a lot of shots outside of the perimeter and or on the perimeter. And the, the last pass I just saw went to one of the cheerleaders. So trash. But um, just really piss poor shot selection, honestly, if we're being honest. It's one of those things where – you want the team to find a better way to get this done. But right now, does that exist? And is this a personnel issue or is it simply a playing style issue? So seems to blow both Southern shoots for three and buckets. It is a 14 point game, 56, 14 Southern is whipping it out. And right now we're looking at what's that? 108 points. Yeah, 108 points. Family player jacks up a three and makes it. 56 45. You're still losing by 11, but it's one of those things where can can you do something? You got 10 35 left in the game. Can fam you kind of slow down Southern? And then within that, can they also score? Like that's going to be the other thing. McCollum's known for his defense. Can that defense make some things happen? Looks like we got a turnover, fam. You ball. So, and again, it's uh, if we're looking live stacks, live stats. Thanks to Rattlers Plus, it is fifty six forty two, and Southern's shooting better field goal percentage wise. Uh, forty four point seven percent three point percentage, three points. Both teams have shot twenty three. They are shooting the exact same shot percentage thirty nine point one percent nine for twenty three. Free throw, five for seven, Southern, Famies one for four. Um, you're shooting 25% from the free throw line. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. Southern is shooting 71%. Uh, but funny enough, Famies winning the rebounding. So you're talking about 31 rebounds to 20. So Famies got the rebounding edge, but when you come back up, it's the field goal percentage as well as the edge at the free throw line. Granted, there it's only – four points but it adds up just a little bit to create that that lead nice shot a little bit of you know off balance whatever's uh seven lead changes and a and the turnovers the turnovers are killing fam you you're losing the turnover battle five to fifteen so it's like can you dribble can you please dribble another rebound for the rattlers after southern jacks a three you got to turn these into points and you got to start going for twos uh, did we get a charging call? T and Texas Southern, I got 38 UAPV 80. Appreciate that, Edwin. So trying to see. They called. Ooh, looks like that was a charging call against FAMU. That's a tough call. Was it charging? Nope, looks like blocking. Looks like blocking. So, blocking on Southern. So, Fanny's going to shoot for two. So, still talking 56-44. But if you got Rattlers Plus, you go back and you click on the shot percentage, Fanny's only got one shot inside the restricted area. Entire offensive game. Definitely a difference in the game. Definitely one of those points where you're going to come, come back and look at that and – ask questions as to why is either why there weren't more shots taken that area or why there's not more of a concerted effort to get there. Um, yeah. The free throw line's trash. Uh, <laughs> we are, what's that one for two for five. So that's quick math, 20%, something crazy like that. I studied history. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, you know, 
Oh, two for six. I'm sorry, two for six. So it's, uh, we've, we've hit one third of our shots, which is wow. They call the foul on somebody. Hopefully it was Southern. So one third of our shots from the free throw line have gone down. So as EA pointed out, yeah, um, <laughs> struggling, but we do get the ball from a penalty and it's an 11 point March. Like family's actually making a comeback. So, and we're going to get one of the free throws. So it's going to make it a 10 point game. So, can you start to march back with eight, nine minutes and some change? Like with smart shot selection, you can. At this point, if the end of the game, um, I need us to win. Edwin, I feel sorry for PV. UAB uh, PV is going to unload on them after this game. With <laughs> well, yeah. UAPB is about to lose to Texas Southern, or is it a final? Is it a final yet? Let's see. I got it. Oh, it's 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 eighty five to eighty, Texas. They must be in the free throw shooting mode now. Ooh, Look at Texas Southern about to pull off a big upset. That was a dumb foul on Famu. And we're talking about the women here. Yes. Yeah. Preview women with an eighty three sixty nine victory. Are we? Is everything in the bonus now? Okay. Yeah, fam's in the bonus. Yeah. So hey. That's a positive. Ten point game. Can you make a comeback to finish? That's that's the big question. Uh, Grambling is up twelve on Cookman, fifty eight to forty six. Alcorn's up three on uh, nine. Sorry, on Alabama State and Jackson State and Alabama A&M just got started. The Tigers are up four, so men's basketball there. Ooh, too much dribbling. Too much dribbling if he's a Southern player. Looks like he's still got the foul, though. They're going to be playing in the Ice Bowl version three or version two <laughs> in Kansas City. It's ridiculously cold out there. Yeah, I mean, it's chilly out here. And look, after the show, we, we, we like, I got the kiddos tonight, and we're over here, like, yeah, we're gonna leave the house. I'm like, I don't even know. <laughs> chilly out where? Aren't you in, a, you're, you're in, you're in, uh, you I'm, I'm in sunny, I'm in Orlando, but it's, man, shoot, it's about, come on, stop it. It's, it's a balmy 60 something with a wind chill out there. I'm comfortable with it, but not for long. I don't like how you just tried to compare. Our weather, <laughs> no, we're in the same area. Oh, it's 56. I'm sorry, Brian. 56. Oh, well. <laughs> God help us. Let me turn on the heaters now. Hey, not my. Look, 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 look we ain't turning on heaters now. That's, that's a bill. <laughs> I better find a blanket. <laughs> I'm sad, Okay. Put an extra layer on. You'll be all right. Yeah, you'll be all right. You know, you go to bed, put some Vaseline on. <laughs> What's going on? What are we? What are we? Waiting they're just. On they're just standing. Oh, one of the players is getting dressed on his leg. Uh, looks like he oh, got some type of scratch or contusion or something. So after this game, <laughs> let's see. So the next game would be Grambling. Ooh. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say it out loud. We couldn't have switched the Southern game in this game. I mean, the, uh, in the BCU game, or like you know, the BCU I, I, it's game. Funny the, it's funny you say that. I did. I went and looked at the. The schedule matrix, and there there should be a way to not play that Bethune game the first weekend of the season. Yeah, yeah, like because we finished the season Grambling, Southern, Baton Rouge. Can we just flip the schedule almost? Like move. It, it's part of the problem is you're trying to keep Famu and Cookman kind of close and. Still moving and moving and whatever, but 
No, it's it's all about your travel partners. That's the thing. That's the that's the that's the swag thing. Travel partners. Ugh. Yeah. So so UAPB and Valley are travel partners. Gotcha. I believe that's how it is. Uh, I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. I don't see a good one. I mean, could you move the conference schedule a week earlier? During 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 December, Christmas? Like, could you move the conference schedule a week earlier and then play those then move the um move the Southern and Grambling game up and then the BCU game would be in between those two? Because essentially you would only you would still move the the Cookman game would be moving back two weeks when the students are first when the first students would first be here. Well, because I see what you're saying with the travel partners, then it makes sense because we have Southern this week. Grambling next week. And so that way I get it though, because if they're coming to Florida, you get to go to you're probably depending on who you play first, you're either flying to one and driving to the other or flying to both or riding the bus to both. So mm, but yeah, that schedule should never be the first game. That should never be the first scheduled game. 10.6252 Southern is up on FAMU. And we're starting to see Southern kind of salt this game away. But that, their shot selection from three ain't the best. I don't I don't get it. I feel like that was a heat check. <laughs> that was a heat check. <laughs> heat yeah, shot. He pulled that. He pulled that just because it's like, hey, coach, I'm, I'm hot right now. I mean, he looked, <laughs> He's seven of ten from the three point line. I mean, what do you want right now? He so that means before that shot, he was seven of nine. So yeah, yeah I'm gonna go yeah. ahead and, do that. and you know, coach, you can be upset, but coach, we up we up ten because I'm on fire. It's true. It's true. Because because if it goes down, then the whole bench goes nuts. Oh. That group then lost it. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not feeling too comfortable. I'm 114 right now. I mean, I need a. I need an epic. Let me see. How much time left? Yeah, seven minutes. I ain't feeling too good. That's a. That's a. That'd be a a record level performance of nothingness over the next uh, <laughs> seven minutes in order for me to get this one home. I don't. Oh, it looks so good early. <laughs> and then all of a sudden this kid Joseph just all of a sudden got hot. The one guy who's the one guy who's who's sending me home a loser. <laughs> Man, you gotta love H but look, we're not technically play by play. You know, we just you know, we just doing our thing. No, he must be he can't be talking about us. He's talking about Melvin Beal. Oh man. Melvin Melvin's voice. Him. First time I was like, "That's his show voice." Then I met him in person. Like, nope, that is no. <laughs> nope. He good people though. Melvin's really good people. <laughs> We're up ten because, fam, you can't see. I can shoot. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we we shoot we shooting forty two. They shooting forty four percent. So. Um, we actually have a higher three point percentage than they do. It's the blessed free throws. That's part of the problem. Well, I mean, I don't know. Is it? And the turnovers. We're getting killed in turnovers. They've shot they've shot five more shots than us. Three more, I'm sorry. And they made three more. So that's that's mm -hmm. two, four, six. And if God help us if those are threes, which one of them is. And the free throws. Yeah, neither team. I mean, but they're eight of nine. We're three of eight. And then, like, the turnovers are killing me, though. 
We got 15 turnovers. <laughs> got a two, though. Look at this eight point game. Y'all showing a little bit of life late. All right, so we had a nice alley oop play. Oh, they called it technical on June. What'd he do? Say something about somebody's mama. Okay. <laughs> I need him to miss that, though. Hey, look at that. Look at that. All right. Okay. I'm going to see if I'm going to replay. I'm going to try to replay this play by June. If I can get this thing to uh, move quickly. So what was your over under on the season for basketball team wins? Oh. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I don't know. <laughs> I think for the season I had us a six. Dang, that was a nice right. cold six. three. Hold on. Yeah. Right. Let's go back and let me show this uh, replay of June uh, with this dunk. So this is a replay here. Oh, we got the sound this time. Looking to cut into this Jay oh you can hear sound yeah i can hear sound 52. you sure over yep Florida a &M, as the over Florida a &M. Yep. performance from Tawion joseph who is leading the jaguars with 27 it's a travel as the this jaguars replay to make something happen and Florida A&M is going to get this ball on a turnover by Sutton. Yeah, credit credit the rally defense, man. I tell you what, that's good defense right there to make that turnover, cause the turnover, force the turnover. Now we got to make some points on the other end. Let's take it down and, and put the ball in the hoop. Six minutes, 31 seconds remaining in the second half. Southern up 62 to 52 over Florida a and a Ooh, okay. By June, an alley hoop has brought the crowd to its feet here in the gate there <laughs> the gate <thing>. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can take the you can't he just, take the right line of the right line. he just said that didn't he he just said, he the said gate thing. good god man oh goodness you can't you can't take that thing if you out of right look <laughs> it was a nice dunk on i i like the setup um yeah, it was a nice setup 12 point game though so it's gonna be is he gonna go to the bench he's gonna try to actually win now like what 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 is he gonna try to do at this point because yeah it ain't looking good no it ain't so what are some of you you know as we kind of come to the close of what what were some of the things that you saw in this game that you you want to see improved upon Um, you know, I can I be I'll be honest. I think this is about as as well as we're capable of. To be honest, mm -hmm. I, I think I that's the scary part. I don't know what you improve on. I mean, we're we're back to being on average for what we were. I mean, we're coming into the game, we were a sixty five point a game team. You know, and here we are sitting around 58. We'll probably get to 65 or 60 something, low 60s. But I mean, hell, we're 58. So, and we give up 10 plus more. So, I don't know, man. I mean, we are hitting the three point shots. Uh, you know, dare I say our defense has to be better? I mean, offensively, we're shooting. I mean, we're shooting 42% from the arc. I mean, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. But I'd like for us to finish the, the two-point field goals a lot better. I, I would. But let me go to this shot chart. I'll give you something. Let's see what it looks like. 
Okay, it's improved. You see these two, these two, we got two, two baskets in the in that area. More than we had before. More than we've had before, exactly. More than we've had before. You know, where whereas the shots we've taken top of the key, right wing, right and left corner, left wing. I mean part of a shot selection. It is, it is. By the looks of it, they've got about one, two, three, four. Four, four or five back, but it's a shot attempts. It looks a lot different. It's just, you know. Um, and, so, I, and I yeah. love everyone's question is, uh, what was it, EA? Are they still letting the man go? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. We're going to be honest? Probably. Yeah. What man? Talking about the basketball coach. Um, I mean, you're technically not letting him go. He's not renewing the contract, but. Yeah, that's a tough one. Yeah. I mean, it again, when, when you when you see the writing on the wall, though, again, this is where, as an AD, you kind of make your, hey, you know, we, we have somebody from the NAA, the President uh, Johnson sitting on the board, and Selvin Cobb sitting on the board. And, all these people sitting on your uh, review board for coaches and give them five coaches that they can pick from and pick one. And you go with whoever they pick. If they lose, they lose. It's it's basketball. We're not a basketball school. <laughs> we could be one, but we're not. Right. We can be one. We can be what we are. We can be what we want to be because we're FAMU, damn it. Exactly. And that's that's the scary part because we've seen this gym when the team is winning. When when he was winning, man, Lawson was a tough place to play in. But I for this season, I want to see better shot selection going forward. Um I'm kind of like you. I, I want to see what this lineup does. Like I, you know, I, I know you're saying, you know, limited numbers, which I'm cool with. I just, how long is it going to take for us to figure out who our guys are? And do we do that in time? Well, unless this game somehow ends right here, your boy is a half a point away from missing out. Mm. Sucks. 128 and a half. Looking at it like, Hmm. Maybe everyone can miss for the next three minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah, Southern. Oh, you about to yam on them? So much for that. And how many points a game was Southern averaging? Uh, good question. I'll look it up right now on the stats. Now, let's see. Southern. Second highest in the conference overall, seventy five point one. So they're about they're about on pace. So both teams are pretty much on pace to hit their average. Yeah, you can't use it's hard to use that first game because again, that Bethune Fam game just just skewed all the numbers. But Yeah, Southern. Southern scored 68. 68 and a half last uh their average in the first two games of the season, 68.5. Mm. And it looks like Gremlin is up. Probably gonna finish that game. Three minutes left. Uh 5657. So they're probably gonna close that out down there in Daytona and get prepared to come up come on up to Tallahassee. Um, so yeah, Alcorn's still in progress, seven point game there. And, uh, yeah, Jackson state and Alabama just started. So interesting day. Uh, but if you're family basketball, it's kind of what you expect a little bit, you know, um, and it kind of parries your expectations for right now. 
you know, we started talking about coach pressure and we started like, oh yeah, you know, I got hope. And, you know, we talk about the men's team. We're like, yeah, I mean, it's the men's team. You know, you can kind of see the tenor change depending on which team you're talking about. All right, coming out. It looks like we're coming out of the timeout, playing defense, real four. That's what it looks like. So, a question for your next coach, Brian, if there is a next coach. Oh, it's too early to start thinking about that. <laughs> it's never too Way early. early. We're, we're too uh, – yeah, well, <laughs> I feel like it's two games into the conference season. Let me get to the halfway mark of the conference season before we start talking <laughs> about that kind of stuff, all right? I gotta have I gotta have nine games under the belt. You need nine. Oh, okay. Look. Well, I, I'm just saying I, I'd like nine before I start thinking about it. Man, it is. It, it's gonna be the conversation du jour. Nice three. Uh, last time we made the tournament, what did the coach look like? <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> God, what is that? Yeah, that was a horrible turnover. Oh, man. Gosh, can this team make this swag wow. tournament? Joseph has 32. Just needs one more point to have the conference season lead. That's right. Tehran Joseph, leading scorer for FAMU, Hans Luis Jean, or June, 16. Then KP has 13, and Jalen Spears has 11. So, And you, you kind of talked about Spears before the game, kind of how important he could be. So we, we're, we're saying you got a three-headed monster, but is, is it a monster or, you know? <laughs> what 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 is it that we have here? I mean that Chiefs game is so cold, they're telling people to cover everything. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> cover all extremities. They're like, folks, you really don't need to be out here for this game. At all. And, ooh, pick six Texans. Oh, Crazy. my God, are you serious? Yeah, yeah. What, what, what's uh, was it, Don Drysdale? Turn out the lights. The party's over. <laughs> um, Baby just realized, hey. What if I make eight go? He turned the ball over. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, you got me on that one. What did he flip? Oh, my God. That's a bad turnover. <laughs> are we, are we going to hit 20 turnovers tonight? We need one more turnover to get a 20. Are we rooting for that, or what are we doing here? I don't know. I mean, I didn't put any money on it. <laughs> I am not old enough to remember Dandy Don. That is more of a my dad, my my dad's stories, and then I went back and YouTube it. I was like, my dad, my dad, that old man, he, he never lied to me. <laughs> yes. So nineteen turnovers to seven turnovers. Um, we actually led an assist. We let in turnovers. Um, we let in defensive rebounding. This is crazy. Like, you start coming, look, kind of looking at this. We have 10 fewer field goals, but we have the higher three point percentage. Ugh, free throws is trash. Um, more rebounds. We also have 
more assists, but 19 turnovers is a killer. And our bench did almost double the amount of points as theirs. Like, you start looking at some of these stats, and you're just like, what the heck? Like, I mean, obviously, the turnovers, 19 turnovers, that, that'll do it for you. But uh, <laughs> when you're leading in almost every statistical category except for the score, you're like, so if we had some people that didn't turn over so much, we'd be all right. I wonder whoever's doing stature, they petty enough to be like, let me just get one more to make it a solid 20. That's horrible. <laughs> oh, man. So where is the SWAG tournament this year? Is it? Same place. Yeah, still uh, uh, Birmingham. Oh, okay. Got that new event center up there. Oh. <laughs> Southern's coach is mad. Coaching to the end of the game. Credit to those Rattlers that are in attendance. They didn't start leaving when the game looked like it was over. Oh, there's still a few people there. Yeah. Three. Oh, he missed it. He's got to learn how to kick his leg out so he can get fouled. <laughs> a little Reggie Miller style. Old school pace. Oh, okay. I thought it was Oof. <laughs> What's your pace is looking like this year? You know, we don't get much of them down here. Oh, what is it? I don't think he was a uh, <laughs> little known swag fact. Danny, uh, along with Al Gifford, got their boost by calling the Bayou Classic. Okay. Look, I appreciate it, Blue Dog, but uh, yeah, man, you can take old Yeller out the pasture. Get a 12 gauge for him, it's over. <laughs> Done. <laughs> yeah, they they're gonna fight hard, but it's what it is. <laughs> is that what your coach? What is that, Brian? Uh, no, I, I'm listening. Well, part of me is listening to uh Melvin and uh. Um, Chester, mm -hmm. Al, Chester, talk about uh, Joseph trying to get his 33rd and 34th point to move into, uh, you know, most points in a game so far on the season. Mm -hmm. oh, I mean, I almost want him to get it, but then again, you know, doesn't hurt my feelings if he does. I've heard him say that before. I wonder if he knows how many points he needs. Oh, heck yeah, he knows how many. Come on now. When a guy's <laughs> been doing this, when a guy's been this hot, he's eight of, what is he? Here's Joseph. What number is Joseph? Three? Oh, yeah. And they just fouled him, looks like. I remember them blue. Yes, I get senior discounts. <laughs> there he is. He got number. He got his thirty third point. There it is. All right. All right. He he can go to the bench now. See now. I was that, about to say now that he's got the most points in the game. You can pull him now. Yeah, I'm good. Because you don't want to get hurt. I mean, you know. No, no, no. Of course not. Whoa, that was an obvious pick. That was a horrible pass. Uh, it's over. It's over for the Browns. Dead. 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 It was Dead. <laughs> that pick was horrible, though. You go back and watch, it's like, 
don't throw it. It's like you're watching Madden. Like, don't throw you. Oops. I hit the wrong button, bro. Like, that bad. So, do we put all, are all the backups in now for FAMU? Uh, well, I know. I think we're just closing it out with guys. Like, I see coffee out there. You know, KJ. Those are those are starter level guys, you know. Yeah, I, 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 are you serious? Now they got another pick six. That's what I said. That pick six was egregious. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> I mean, he stared him down. Forty six is like appreciate that, bro. You didn't want that. I'll I'll just take this back right quick. Well, what I said, the nasty right? man will be back next year because uh, Flacco's showing. Uh, no. Nah. Well, and that's the ball yeah. game. He said, Seven. Melvin, "Melvin said you got to be encouraged from last year." Really? Are you encouraged from last year, Keith? Absolutely not. <laughs> Are the girls, yeah. By this time last year, I don't. Did the girls have that many wins? <laughs> Rambling's gonna get a 76-65 win over Bethune. Yes, yes, which, you know, as as much as I'm not petty, I'm okay with that. Uh then Alcorn is leading Alabama State, which is interesting. And Jackson State and Alabama AM. I don't know what's going on with their score. It looks like it hasn't really moved, but it could also be moving. Final and state. Valley Valley and PV have started. So oh, final shot. stats. Yeah, uh, four. Okay, so that Southern plus eight attempts plus four makes. Three-point attempts were even. Free throws practically even. I, I mean, you know, what are we talking? Uh, what was the final score? Nine points. Yeah, Turnovers. There it, is. there it is. Four, four made baskets. More than FAMU and one more free throw. At the end of the day, simple statistics. You played an even game. They just got eight more shots up than you. Mm -hmm. And then you said the turnovers. So, yeah, 19 to 8. You know, you think about 11, 11 turnovers difference. That's, you know, eight, 11 extra possessions, which turn into – Eight shot attempts in those eleven possessions. Mm -hmm. Ball game right there. Yep. And then, as you pointed out, fam, you hit their scoring average on the nose. On the nose. <laughs> Sixty-five dead straight. And I think we hit our points allowed average as well. I'm, I'm looking at now. Uh, let me see overall stats. Fam, you. Oh, excuse me. Well, that's 84, but that's conference. Hold on, let me see. Nope, excuse me. That is our average. Okay, so 84. So Jesus, man. This is this is not good. This is not good. This is the this is the one year where where coach's defense mm. ain't, ain't ain't his defense. No, it, it ain't working this year for the fellas. So mm -mm. um but Jay Evans right. says he loves it. So welcome, six eight tight end Jay Evans, uh, who committed to FAMU. So he he was at the game, took a picture there, posted on his uh, socials, the Jaden Evans on Twitter or X. Uh, so got his FAMU basketball shorts and all. What's his name? The Jaden Evans. He was a six eight tight end slash defensive end um, from what Central Michigan. But looks like he's going to be our tight end. All right, well. Okay, so. And the consummate professional, Willie Simmons, congratulations to FAMU head women's basketball coach, Bridget Gordon, on getting her first SWAC win. <laughs> Just retweeted that. I saw that. Like, dang, oh, Willie. Oh, well, hey, I mean. Oh Still, goodness! Uh, what is this about oh. your AD uh, announcing a special board meeting early next week following the naming 
of a new head football coach. What board is she on? What what special board? What is this? What what? She's about to go. <laughs> She's about <Yeah>. to leave. <laughs> I'm being facetious. I don't know if that's true, but uh, like, I'm sitting there like, what? What? what look, did you you look? Go watch that interview with Rory Chirac. She looks so I uncomfortable. I saw like, it. I want to be anywhere but here. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. My nice day, it. bro. Yeah, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty shocking, but uh. Oh, Jaden Samari Evans. Okay, I see. Touchdown Thursday. Mm -hmm. All righty. Okay. Oh, this is the big fella. This is the big 6'8 guy. Yeah, man. Okay. Got a nice end zone target for whoever the offense coordinator is. Whoever the QB is. Uh, I think it's going to be that guy from FAU, but yeah. <laughs> what he, he throws a little wobbly. His footballs be a little wobbly. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let's 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 see what Kelvin's got. Uh, one final, one final time here before we break out of here. Kelvin, are you there? Let's see, Kelvin. All right, he's not there yet. Um, ha, ah, you're funny, Edwin. Probably ain't trying to tell us and give you a deal. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Let me, uh, it is Founders Day for her and her, 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 uh, her, her diamond studded friends. So, well, let me. Oh, Flacco almost threw another pick. <laughs> oh my god. What a miserable <laughs> existence. I just now I don't even know if I can win comeback player of the year. I'm hoping they already voted. He got the Browns to the to the playoffs. I I would I, I don't know. I know the one guy died last year on the field and came back for like a half a play or something like that. Oh, you had Flacco for comeback player of the year? I did. I had him at I, I grabbed him at twenty five to one. Ooh. Right, right. So I'm like, I, I think I put ten dollars on it. So I'm kind of. Is this a jaguar? No, it is a snake. It is a snake. Um, I know we don't have those in Tallahassee, but I got this at Ike IKEA. <laughs> so, uh, my my snake right there. He's like, is that a jaguar? Like, nah, it's a snake. It's a snake. So they had like stuffed animals at the IKEA, and my wife and son, we all went. And my daughter, she was she was in Tallahassee actually, and so um, my son and I see the stuffed animals. We just start playing and messing with each other. And my wife's like, "Why are you why are you playing in the store?" And I'm like, "Cause you got the boys, <laughs> like you got the dudes together. We are gonna cut up." So um, I got one and he got one. So but I keep them up here because you no know, reminds me of the kids and everything else. So oh goodness, but no 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 jaguars. <laughs> I don't even support the ones in Jacksonville that often because you can't trust them. <laughs> trust them like you trust the Falcons. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right, so, I gotta. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to figure out how to recover from today's losses. It's been a horrible day. Zero uh, three, and now if Cleveland loses, zero and four, which means I'm just gonna sit on my couch and, and watch uh, some Disney Plus or something later. I'm not even watching any more sports. I'm done. Yeah, we're about to hit I drive. I ain't gonna lie. I got the crew, so me and the crew about to go hit it up over there. <laughs> What's on I drive? Where you going? I drive. They got a um, they got an arcade, and so I got I sent the wife out the house. They're like, get out the house, go do something with your friends. So okay. I got her friend's kid, and I got my two. So my my, my boss slash coworker was like, bro, there's an arcade over there. Hit it up, twenty five bucks a piece. I'm like, game, let's go. So, <laughs> nice, nice. So yeah, take the kids uh, out for a few hours over there. Yeah, so you have to let me know what the name of that place is, and uh, next time I'm down that way, I might go check out, especially if it's a good spot. Yeah, a lot of retro games. So if you're into retro games, supposedly yeah. got that. So we're gonna we're gonna do that, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I'm gonna no Edwin. I mean, hey, Blue Dog, I appreciate you coming in, joining us, Tamer T. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go fix me a drink, man. I need one. I need. Some, I, I'm just... <laughs> Look, my, my we we've been on long enough. Mine will wow. wow off. So when we come back, uh... <laughs> yeah, I, got, I got some. I got some Captain Morgan Spice Rum. It never goes bad. It's been down there for a minute, but yeah, I'm about to hit it up. So, <laughs> well, uh, look Dave, over spring break. I'm at the head to your I side go. and drop you off a I bottle of my favorite. <laughs> yeah, man. Look, yeah, hey, hit me up. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> All right. So uh, Monday night, uh, Grambling comes to Tallahassee. I believe the women play at five thirty. Um. The men play after that, eight. Yeah, five thirty and eight. So, congratulations, the Lady Rattlers get a fifty nine fifty three win over Southern, mm -hmm. and uh, Southern men get the win over FAMU in the. Uh, so we split with the Jaguars, and they will go over to Daytona Beach, where both Bethune Cookman teams lost. And Grambling comes to Tallahassee, where both Grambling teams won. So that's what we got to deal with. So, um, yeah, crazy week though. Like coming up, you think Monday you got the game, Tuesday you got the potential coaching hire. Was it Wednesday? Ad Sykes got an announcement to make. Does Grambling have an athletic director? Just asking. Um, you know, like could be interesting. Yeah. Hey, who who knows what uh, what's gonna come out of. Uh, all of this. Uh, maybe we'll finally get to hear an announcement. Uh, maybe we'll finally say something substantial. I don't know. Yeah. But, no, uh, Grandma does have an athletic director. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Dr. Travion Scott. I don't think mm -hmm. he left or went anywhere. So. Mm -mm. Uh, so. And uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Keith, you got a you got a show you're doing Sunday. You're Sunday, doing Sunday. We're gonna talk a little bit about this. We're gonna talk about those some of those recruits that you know might still be pending, and um, yeah, you know, kind of see see what 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 are uh, what's Rattler Nation kind of feeling as far as this new coach, like potential coach. All right, all right. That's uh, Sunday. Fangs up podcast uh what time again let people know where seven o'clock on hbcu digital networks fangs up twitter fangs up facebook hbcu digital uh facebook twitter so twitch <laughs> several places at one time gotcha gotcha uh 80 drew and i will be doing the sports wrap right here on the black college sports network six o'clock eastern already booked kyle mosley so we'll kind of talk about Texas Southern's new hire, and uh, we'll talk about that whole searching process. You thought FAMU situation was crazy. Um, let's, I, I think Texas Southern's even crazier. Uh, I think so that was the worst, bro. That to me, that was some fan stuff. <laughs> we're fans of the Oilers and we're fans of the Texans, and the top two choices were guys who played for the Oilers and the Texans. Yeah, yeah, and, and Heinz Ward coached in that area, I think, with the. Houston, one of those USFL or whatever mm -hmm. teams. So we'll, I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of, we'll kind of talk to him and kind of find out what uh, we're also thinking about. Well, not thinking about, but we're going to try to get our basketball poll or rankings rather all together. So hopefully we'll be able to release our top five in the uh, Division One, Division Two, and NAIA levels for men and women. So. That's so what happened to Fred McNair before we get out? <laughs> uh, if I'm James Colsey and the rumors are true, I'm calling Fred McNair. I need an OC, maybe. And I'm okay. I'm saying, hey, you know, Fred, there's a – I mean, that's a distance, though. I mean, that's a journey, but it's a job, you know. And if uh, you keep the thing rolling, who knows, man? There might be another school that will open – knowing the swag. Uh, which has had a look just three years ago. There's only one coach from that media day from three years ago when you had Fam and Bethune coming into the conference. Only one coach is still around, and that coach is going to be on the hottest of hot seats in Huntsville, Alabama. So don't forget the MEAC because honestly, you know, we we look at over there that seat at Norfolk State ain't comfortable either. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, encourage. I want to encourage Rattler Nation to go ahead. If you haven't sent your letter to the Board of Trustees, I'm very serious about that. Send 
a note to the board of trustees, send a letter, let them know. Don't just assume, given what the street committee and all that, don't assume. That would be a drastic mistake if you assume that this thing is done. Um, and, and until we hear it officially, you know, you got to stay vigilant. Let's stay out there and keep keep uh, keep pressing forward. So, all right, that's going to do it. Uh, Keith, I appreciate you, man. It's been great doing this with you, man. Um, Always is. Yeah, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. And uh, we'll do it again. Hopefully, look, we might have to set some up for that USF baseball game. We, you know, see something, see what's going on. Yeah, you know, I would, I, man. I look. I I'd love for us to be able to get to a point where FAMU would allow us to do even the play-by-play and color of some of these games. You know that if you're not going to send somebody, hey, I'll go. I'll go. We'll go do it and. You know, just give us the ability to do it. I mean, you know, let us let us represent FAMU. I mean, you know. Yeah, especially when we travel. We're gonna know just as much about these teams as anybody. So and and, <laughs> and you know, I will actually care. So <laughs> and we'll say the folks' mean, names right. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> all right. Uh, FamilyAthletics.com is the website. Make sure to stay up to date with all that's going on. I know you, you can catch up the track and field results uh, and everything like that. So uh, uh, for our man on the street, Kelvin Roger, who's up in Tallahassee, uh, you know, we appreciate him and his live check-ins. Uh, for Keith Hadley, I'm Brian Fulford. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you're following us. Make sure you like, subscribe, uh, share, uh, be tagged in with our YouTube pages and uh, make sure you check us out on Twitter and uh, we appreciate your time again. Congratulations, Coach Gordon. Big pressure. First win in the swag. Congratulations, baby. That's indeed. That's indeed. Uh, things up. Uh, be well. Stay healthy. Enjoy the rest of your King holiday weekend. And uh, let's make sure to show up and pack the pit on Monday as the Rattlers get ready to take down the Grambling State Tigers. All right. Peace out, fam.